Well, well. Well, if I have any advice, I think it's high time to invest in some personal upgrades. What a ridiculous statement, Mimir. I've already got all the upgrades. You bastard. Alright, let me get everything in order here. One, two, three? Yeah. Why is that considered a... Oh, grouping, I see. Alright, that's done, that's done. Is chat working? It is. What? Alright, so... <clears throat> this is right at the beginning. I will explain. This is going to be a stream where I play a video game and catch up on all the Super Chats that have come in through Moolah specifically. Uh, I was considering trying to get it in a place where I could answer it with Rags and Fringy, but it's essentially impossible, and we're starting to bleed over, so... I'm going to go the direction of uh, answering them myself, as best I can, uh, because we've got another refab coming tonight, and uh, we're already, I think, 20,000 words behind, so adding more to it is going to make it impossible, especially since we've got... I want to say eight EFAP episodes that are prepared, but aren't... I was about to say filmed. I've been recorded yet. We've got one that is recorded that needs to be edited because it's got copyright problems. It's, uh, it's, just, it's just everything. All the things you could think of. We've also all seen Rebel Moon and Aquaman too, and we want to do coverage of that. And then, of course, there's Christmas. There's New Year's. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. I've also got a bit of a cough. I'll do my best to mute whenever that happens. Um, the, yeah, so, you know, you know the, the New Year's episode is we invite a bunch of people and we just chat. And we look at the, the past year. That's, that's kind of the meme. So that's another episode that's on its way. So like I said, we'll, uh, what we'll do is I'll answer the, the Moolah backlog here while keeping up with anything that comes in with you guys now. And we'll take as long as it takes to do so. And I'll probably play this. Maybe for a few runs to show you what I've learned. Uh, and then we'll switch to Bloodborne, I think. What do you mean, episode? Standard EFAPs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just um, <clears throat> ideas. So, to give you an example, right? The quiz one, but with uh, fictional characters. Or Cinema Sins versus Cinema Wins, but on The Last Wish. Or um, there's a bunch of videos that are all lined up. They're ready to be reacted to. But genuinely, like, between me, Rags, and Fringy, we just don't have opportunities right now. But as you can imagine, this is the busiest time of year for personal stuff. No more quiz shows. There's been one. One. <laughs> I feel like we're allowed to do uh, wacky episodes now because we gave you guys the Lord of the Rings EFAP, okay? Loki soon. Uh, Loki episode 5, I think, is cooking. So uh, as long as Fringy can give me like the word on it being uh, good to go, like 6, then we'll start releasing them. Yeah. Still, uh, Gotham Knights is cooking as well. More Gothic phone? That's another one we need to do as well. Enjoying Clone Wars? I still haven't seen those two episodes that I've got to see, but, you know, I'm assuming it, it doesn't take very long, so I will. Now. Okay, before I read the first one, I'll explain. This is me playing God of War Ragnarok Valhalla at the end, so to speak. I think I've unlocked all the dialogue and the upgrades. Just to give you an idea of my currency. For these spirit things I've got, uh, wait. Yeah, there you go. See, I've got 21,000 mastery shields that I can't really spend. Except for converting them into the other seals, which would be pointless. But also buying this, the penalty of breaching. Severely weaken the bearer and slowly drain health until near death for the next attempt for those who defy the limits of Valhalla. This makes it real hard, all right? Real hard, and we're already. I've pushed it up to a uh, maximum difficulty. I'll show you guys the only way I know to beat this. I've beaten it twice on the hardest difficulty with the limiter. I'm hoping I could do it on a stream just to show you how it works, or at least the only way I know how to work it because I'm not good enough at God of War to do it on base stats. It's got to be a particular build, <clears throat> and it is the Flame Whiplash build. So like I said. What we'll do is we'll clear rooms and I'll be uh, answering questions that have come in over the years regarding different videos that have premiered. Let me know if any levels need to be changed, be it in, uh, you know, volume for the game or whatever. In fact, I think I might turn it down a little bit. See that? Victory. Play Hades mutually. I will, I will, I will. And hello all. Howdy doody. 
All right, where's uh, audio? See, we're on five. That's absurd. Five? What, what was I thinking? So, the first will be Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 1. We're going to go from there and move up to the present, which would be Lord of the Rings. So, we shall try and get there. Now, detonating thrown spears has a moderate luck chance to increase strength and stagger. Drastically increase the power of rushing chaos and rushing chaos slam. That's not really anything I want. None of these are what I want. So, we'll reroll... Increase burn status effect, that's something we do want. So, we'll try that. This run might not work out. There's three particular things I need. One is, like, boost all of Kratos' triangle moves. Uh, boost all of flame whiplash. And uh, the perfect one of... Gotta get... Uh, refresh the relic on hit. If I get those three, we can win. But without them, I've got no bloody chance. But, uh, yeah, we get heals from opening chests as well, so we'll be alright. Rebel Moon versus the Rise of Skywalker? Oof. That is a tough one. What is Hades Retribution? Oh, I don't like either of these, but I guess I'll use the Flare. The Flare always fucking misses, man. Um, but yeah, I, I would probably go that Tross is the worst movie, I guess, because it's so dysfunctional on every possible level and it destroys, like, portions of our franchise. Rebel Moon's pretty bad. So, both of these are useless to me, at least the run I'm doing. Because I don't really block or parry that often. So we'll, I've only got two rerolls left, so this run could be destroyed soon. <laughs> Increased duration of status effects, that's something we can use. Beautiful. Please help me, it's 5.15am, I have not fallen asleep. Well, fall asleep to the dulcet tones of my looking into things and talking, that'll be wonderful. So anyway, on with the Mandalorian ones. Space Unicorn or something. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to make of that. That's all it says. Mando is very anti-droid, so he doesn't put two and two together that if you switch the droid's brain, they're going to be same after. Mando's retarded when it comes to droids, to the point where they don't even know what they want to have be the case with him. I think they had it overtly mentioned, right? It's like, first you love droids, now you, you hate them, and you love them again. What's going on? Probably because they don't know what they're doing. All right, these little challenge statues. Let's see what we got on offer. Rage burst on blade kill. We'll get that if nothing else is better. The weapon, ugh, that's okay. Oh, that's exactly what we need. So I got to deal with the fucking frost roll for five encounters. So this might kill me. I'll do my best because that means we've got to fight the boss with it as well. But that's an incredibly good thing to get early. So if I can do it, that means this could be the boy. Could be, all right? Could be. Hyperion pull and grapple don't need them. While wielding the blade, stun grabbing... Ugh, neither of these are good. Not for the run I'm doing, anyway. Oh, that's the one we need. Scorched Sweep and Scorched Earth. Could this be the run, boys? Could it be? But look, I got Frosty Rolls. That shit drives me nuts. But I'll certainly try. I can make you say anything I want. Dance, monkey, dance! You can, within reason. Have you seen Godzilla Minus One yet? Think it would at least make a good multimedia fab, and then you fab on something good for once. Uh, Fringy's seen it and recommends it, I think. So me and Rags need to see it at some point, but obviously I'm running out of time now and with Christmas and this and everything. I just I don't know where exactly I'm going to fit it in, but I'll try. Um, oh, Deflection on Flame Whiplash, we'll need that as well. This is the, the, A lot of these things are what I need. The one we really need now is increased damage on all triangle moves. If we get that one, then it's all down to me and my failures. Unfortunately, we're out of rerolls. I wish I had more, but that's that's just me being shit, I'm afraid. All right, what have we got? Oh, I'm fucking frosted. Why? Ooh, Jesus. See? Nah. Seriously, that fucking Helios Flare, like, even if it hits, it just doesn't do the damage compared to, a uh... Frost me up, go ahead. You know the Frosty thing? It wouldn't be so bad if it was just movement, but it's also my actions. 
I'll do one dash at most. Oh, I don't want to blow this too, because this is a very good opportunity, you know. Which I am currently, because the longer we spend here, the more damage I take. Is that still not it? Oh, he's still alive. Like, I just lost a whole bunch of health for no reason there. Oh god, you're all sending so many messages. We're supposed to be catching up today. Alright, that one's alright. That one's also alright. These two we can both kind of use. We'll go with that one, because Realm Shift's are super good. Uh, have been forcing my co-worker to listen to your Lord of the Rings Fat movies. You have a new subscriber now. Oh, hey! Howdy, new subscriber. Hope you enjoy. That Lord of the Rings one was fun to make. Some favorite quotes this year. Everyone who loves you is wrong. <laughs> That's from my uh, Ant-Man video. There. Thank fuck the Nazis are here. I think is that Indiana Jones, maybe? And you're the unskippable cutscene of people. That's about Cassie. I remembered all of those. Mwahaha. Uh, IG-88's legend story was a very interesting one, with it ending with IG-88 integrating with the Death Star 2 systems and takes control of it. Damn. That does sound interesting. Okay. Might be able to buy something from the old shop. But, yeah, as you can see, that almost went really bad because of the frost roll. Like, it's such a big payment, but the reward I'll get is so crazy if we can do it. Burn shockwave on whiplash, yes please. I have to remember to try and focus on Whiplash whenever possible now. That one's super useful when you have like a group of enemies. But this is the build I would want. I think this would be where the triangle attacks one could come in. Depends if the game wants to give it to me. Flame Whiplash is a chance to do cooldown. Yeah, we'll go with that. I mean, I've not got a choice at this point. I wish I had rerolls. I've already spent them all. If we can't get the triangle boost, that's gonna suck. Because that's the last one I need now. Uh, what door is that? <clears throat> uh, definitely don't want Skull. I need to check this one. Merry Crimbo, Wumbo. Looking forward to Lord of the Rings video. It's heartwarming to hear Wolf again. Yeah, I mean, we, we figured you guys would uh, very much enjoy it. and uh, It's the kind of gift that can take you a long time to get through in a good way. With Arcane Season 2 confirmed coming November 2024, hype as fuck, are you and the EFAP crew going to do a full coverage like last season or EFAP TV? Probably full coverage rather than EFAP TV. Especially because we're going to want to be silent watching that, more than likely. You know how it goes. Hmm. Oh, fucking hell, what? How does the grab not count? Hmm. There's the explosion. And... dead. Oh, fuck. See, the damage on that sucks. Then again, it's not upgraded, so... Wait. Oh, it fell off the map, I think. Okay. That also works for me. Still got it. Yeah, for now, Mimir. Who knows how badly this will go. Uh, here's a fun question. What's a fun theory you entertain? Like UFOs, interdimensional entities, something fun like Gary and Co. Deep Dive On? Cheers. Um, hmm. I don't think I have many. I mean, I believe that alien life is totally like a more than high possibility... As for whether or not we've interacted with it already, is like, I guess I don't know, but. <coughs> um, I'd have to think. I don't know which one of these fun theories I actually am uh, sort of into, on board with, regularly talk about. I don't know. Last second dodges charge of that. That's okay. Increased rate of rage is gained. When attacking status afflicted enemies with runic attacks. We'll go with that, because I'm going to need rage right now to keep me in the game. 
I'm a little bit worried. Um, how far are we on the progress on the uh, this? I've cleared two of five, guys. Two of five. If I get another three, I'm not feeling very good about it. Also, hi, Moodle. Hey, the one. Boo. Thanks to the Lord of the Rings EFAB. It was epic, and the live chat was on fire. Best spent eight hours. Merry Christmas, mutually. Merry Christmas. Glad you enjoyed it. Like I said, we considered releasing it on Christmas, but then I figured that, um... Oh, we need that one. And that one. But I've got to get this one. Uh, we, we figured it would be too much, because, like, a lot of you guys will be spending it with your families, even though I'm sure the people who would be there would appreciate it as a Christmas present if they had very little to do that day, you know? It's, but it's... I guess you can always watch it on Christmas if you want to. I'm doing alrighty, just chilling until some friendos come over. Ha! Friends. Weird and lame. Uh, speaking of Lord of the Rings EFAP movies, are you aware there are two different uploads of the original Lord of the Rings Return of the King EFAP movies on Moolah? Yes. One of them got hit with copyright, the other one didn't. Um, the, other, the first one I've considered deleting, but then I was like, I don't know if there's a point to that. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Suffering from success? Have a ding-dang diddly happy holiday. Yes, I, uh, in a sense, I just want to make sure I get through the messages, you know, which we're making zero progress so far, but that's alright. Do you have any obscure games you recommend? Hmm, obscure games. Time Shift? A game where you can control... It's an FPS you control time. So, like, you can slow time down, pause time, or rewind time. And so it plays like Call of Duty, sort of, but, you know, worse mechanically. But you get that added bonus of fun. I, I don't think it's a very well-known game. Um, but, like, you can move through the world and have all sorts of fun interactions with the environment and stuff based on rewinding and pausing time. I, I remember enjoying it. There you go. Right. So, wait, why aren't the Mando simps trying to follow him along? Surely he can command them to get him a new motherboard. So, HW doesn't have to? Oof, this is testing my knowledge of memory of Mando. I'm gonna go ahead and accept that that's probably a fair comment. Oh god. See, I really want to run away. But I can't roll. Keep going, Kratos. Oh, I should have blocked. I rolled. Oh, I've got no rage. Fuck. <sighs> what did I tell you? Oh, okay. This is fair. Mmm. Not a fan of that at all. This would mean my, my run is going to get killed by the frost. That's two resurrection stones gone. Fucking hell. Oh, that's so terrible. I mean, yeah. And still one more? That's great. Wait, where is she? Hello? I certainly don't feel safe anymore. We might be able to afford one more simple. Actually, they're 300, so we're probably not going to be able to, actually. Oh, we better pray for an easy boss, because I've lost otherwise. There's no way I'm getting through this. Bad face. But what have we got? Triangle upgrade? That might make things better. Damage that blades burn does. Damage of blades runic attack. We don't need that. Low luck chance to give a rage burst on any blades kill. It was a health burst, then maybe. Ugh, oh, bad face. 
No. Uh, I demand reparations for posting that boogie twitch video. You violated the Geneva Convention, long man. Apologies. Alright, I'm gonna get mashed in this room, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I know. Nice. Here's the one Valhalla single day for you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Thanks for giving that shield. No, Max, you dingus. Look at that. Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. No, I'm dead. There's no way I'm doing this. It would be tough without the frost. Yeah, thanks for that game. That switch of targets was great. Why did that even hit me? Can't do anything. Stop targeting him, man. No, no fucking hell, that's not what I wanted to do at all. This is, um... Like, uh, my, my health just bleeds over time, but it caps out right before the end. Nice. That's gonna fuck me over. Jesus. I know, Mamiya. I'm distinctly aware. I can build that rage up. And then I run away. <laughs> Is there a reason why I can't stagger with that? Hanging on by a thread, yes. This isn't even the boss yet. Just a Randy. Whoa, they could have tagged me with that. The game definitely has done it before. Look at that health recharge. Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. <laughs> Get good, long man. That's the thing. I it's the frost. It's fucking annihilating me. And uh, we need, I think, one more, which is directly the boss. So I'm so gonna die. It would have to be one of the easiest level bosses, which I, I just that's not the kind of luck I get. If it's Magdi or Modi, for example, I'm dead. I need my roll back. I think we're being fair to take the way up now. <laughs> We could buy... Oh, I can't even afford a resurrection. Nope. I can afford a health boost. Hmm. Gotta go in with this. Cross roll is tough. Yeah, it's, it's such a good reward, though. Like, what I'll get, but... God, it's basically you don't get a roll. You get one, and then you gotta deal with it. Otherwise, you're fucked. 
Oh, it's Magdeo Modi. Great. Well, that's it. Nice. I can't even block in time. Yeah, that's it. If I don't have roll, I ain't doing fuck all against Magdi or Modi. But I mean, that was my choice. It would have been neat if I got it, though. What is that frost? It's brutal. It's, it's the way it works. It's like, if you can survive, then you earn access to more stuff, you know? Um... You much into tactical shooters? I'd love to see you try some ready or not. I, I assume I am. I don't really have any issue. You know. Please give a blind man more, like an entire dedicated EFAP or a discussion with people who don't like it. I think the show is almost perfect. We'll get something for you, Bly Manor eventually. I mean, it took us, what, four years to give you the kind of coverage of Lord of the Rings you probably wanted. So, <laughs> we get there eventually. Please play Prey 2017 for the love of God, Sekiro good. Sekiro is good. Great. And we'll do Prey. It'll happen. Don't you worry. Yeah, I think I can do the Frost Roll if uh, it's like three encounters. But fuck me, like the five. That was, uh, that was some harsh shit, man. Oh, fuck off. Now he's frosted me, little shit. Look at this. It's like absolutely the worst status effect, because the other ones, even like poison and stuff, they just don't take that much health off. So all of these suck. No. Eh, kind of. We'll try this. I'd want to start with the flame with flash bonuses, you know. But uh, if this doesn't go good, we'll just uh, we'll just back out. This is a bad opening, you know. Favorite David Fincher film? Hmm. It's gonna be between Fight Club, Gone Girl. And I think it'd probably be between those two. Uh, hey, Mubes, during an EFAP coverage of Lord of the Rings, I think I noticed that Gandalf raises his voice when angry with Saruman. Uh, sure. I guess that would make sense. Oh, this is the one we need to increase all of the triangle weapon attacks. But now I need the flame whiplash bonus and we're on the way. That's two of the three that I want, which... Oh, right. Runic attack. I sort of think I was fucked over by that runic move. Honestly. Rampage of the Furies I love. This is a good one. Fuck the Helios Flare. That thing was useless. I think it's really good cooldown. That's, that's probably its benefit. Alright, what have you got for me? Celtic Rampage combo? Nope. 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 Um, that's okay. What do I have to do? Decrease healing from heal stones for five encounters. If I can't pull that off, I don't deserve to win, I think. Uh, thank you for the 1.5 years of entertainment I've been here for. I send money where I can for your excellent work, and I can't wait for my vinyl figures to come. I originally came here from Jay, so send some love, please. Absolutely, and thank you very much. They are arriving in January, as far as I know, so... Exciting. More melee damage for... Fuck it. We need more space. So the way this works is that... Oh wait, I didn't buy the limiter. That's probably why I'm doing better. Fucking hell. We have to go back. I'm sorry, guys. You gotta remind me to do that. It doesn't count if I'm not beating it without the limiter. Which, by the way, the limiter pushes down all of the, like, bonuses. To get, like, worse stuff. That's probably why I was having a little bit of a moment there, being happy with the uh, opening ones. Set it back up. Anyway, yes, I'm vaguely caught up. Alright. 
Modern writers trying to write any kind of tradition. Duh, I don't know, it doesn't make sense, but they just always done it that way for no reason, lol. Yeah, it, it is kind of embarrassing sometimes to see, like, fake tradition. They don't do a particularly good job of making it believable in a lot of stuff. Have you seen Minus One? If so, thoughts. I'm afraid I have not yet seen it, but I do intend to. Mando is dumber than Jar Jar Binks. Change my mind. I don't want to change your mind. <laughs> Listen, Jar Jar had some of the biggest effects on political change in the Republic, so let's not let's not deny his power, shall we? You guys should do a game V show ranking character by character and put finale comment showcase at the beginning of that super chat. Game versus show ranking character by character. Any particular game or show or just in general? Worst movie of the year? Um could be Rebel Moon. Could be Shazam 2. Could be... Ant-Man, I suppose. I'm particularly annoyed by Rebel Moon. Like, uh... Once again, Zack showing off how much he just wastes his resources and doesn't know what the hell he's doing. But, you know, that happens. All right, what have you got, video game? Give me something good, come on. No, no, no. Go for a reroll. No. This is a bad start. Very, 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 very bad start. We'll go with the Rage Burst. I'll try and make it work. <laughs> Do what I can. No Indy 5? Oh, Indy 5 should be in there as well, yeah. That's fair. Dude, it's hard to do a top five list, okay. Which apparently I've got to do for the next FNT. The crazy things they ask of me. Come on then, lads, let's go. Ugh, boring. That's kind of funny. I wonder if the exchange rate on that actually works out in my favor. You know, him grabbing me. I don't know. So, Tartarus or Cyclone? Tartarus is really good. That's a heavy, right? Yeah. I prefer Tartarus, I think. Just because it does more damage while also doing the stagger. Dom, dom, dom. Thank you for making all that quality content. Thank you for letting me know that's how you feel about it. See, these suck. What am I to do with this? Spartan Rage restores some health and rage. Sure, we'll go with that. I think that's only really good with, like, the other rage modes. I don't know how effective it is with this rage mode, but let's hope. Let us hope. Merry Christmas. Here's money, you sellout. Any plans with the sheep wife? The sheep wife? I, uh, not really. But hey, it happens. Scorch sweep and scorch to earth. That's the one we want. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at this. They're gonna make me choose between boosting my triangle attacks or boosting the triangle attack that I need. What are the two options here? Reduce runic attack damage or poison will be inflicted on critters when blocking enemy attacks. And for two encounters. Alright, I think Master of Arms is actually f harder to come across. I think. But we're gonna grab that one. Mola, check out Random Film Talk when you can. Fantastic Longman videos on several things related to your interests. The Hobbit series particularly enjoyable. Good podcast host candidate. We've uh, done an episode of EFAP with Random Film Talk. You should check it out. Alright, we'll need that one and that one. Schnitzel. Um, hmm. I'll take the deflection for now. We can get the second one on the way back because this will be where we return. I'm just going to keep that in mind. Um, I think I want that door. Yeah. I'm trying to get some more weapon buffs. We want to get that flame whiplash bond back. We shall see. Well, who is your favorite? Nemesis or Korra? Laugh my ass off. Both of them sucked ass, so... Uh, I loved them both. They were great. Oh, come on. One of these got to die at some point. be stacking my health up because of this, though. 
Uh, oh no, it stacks up my rage, right? Any bigger targets? Fuck it. That gives me a health boost and a rage boost. Hmm. Dude, that gives me a lot of rage back. That's interesting. Oh, fuck off. Alright, we'll go pick up the health quick. Oh yeah, I haven't got my triangle boost yet. I'm almost operating as though I do. Mola, who's your favorite? Oh wait, I read that. Are you going to get a Joker praise before we get the sequel? Oh no, no, I wouldn't want to do it before now, because we'll be able to incorporate the second one into the first one if I was to make the video, you know? Makes more sense to me. Burn infliction. On we go. Did a marathon while watching the Ant-Man 3 review. Hey! I hope it went well, sir. Alright, what else we got? Activating that gives a realm shift. Healing from health stones goes up. Goes health drop to a critical level at grants invincibility barrier. Oh, we gotta get this one, because Kratos now takes damage and loses rage when bro block is broken by yellow ring attacks. That's very rare. And even if it happens, it's not that bad. And compared, it means that when I hit death, I'll get an invincibility barrier and a buff to strength and a health burst when complete. This uh, one of the perfects. We shall see how it goes. Uh, Leviathan's Roar, how good is that? I guess we'll take it. Better than nothing. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, hello, EFAP. Important question. I have to break up, though. Working on a comic called Zyzor, who is a main female, lots of personality. Wanted thoughts on design? Curvaceous women, wide hips. Uh, what do you mean? Like, whether or not it's a good thing to do? It's like, you know, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. I feel like most people would be. I, uh, I'm not sure exactly what you want to know in terms of a point of view. So, Flame Whiplash gives me the runic boost. We have to get this one. I want the other one, too. I don't think we'll be able to afford everything, unless there is a Fleeting Echoes door here, which I think there might have been. There is. Sweet. What was the other door? <coughs> yeah, I think that was a perk glyph. Which can be good. We're gonna go for the echoes, though. Because I need them. Oh, they follow up with saying, Breasts no larger than head. Leather one piece exposing much of mentioned parts. Many reasons for design beyond just a physical appeal, but explanations don't seem to matter. I just face criticism. Well, because most people assume you're doing it because that's what you want to see, but ultimately I think you can own that. Someone says, like, wow, you made them look that way just because you want to... I didn't want to do that. But... Oh, fuck it. Where's the green boy? Hey, little shit. Wow, the damage on that is so good. Okay, one down. Is that two healers he's got? The greedy net. Whoa. I know. Oh shit, I shouldn't do that, because that's one of my labor things. Get in there. See, now that's good damage. That's probably a waste, by the way. Hmm. Is he dead? There we go. Alright, heal up. It's 6.46am and I have to go to work soon. That's alright. It'll be just fine. Let me just move this over here. Oh. Okay. Um, live in a very religious place, wanted less biased feedback, but to be honest, I um, have to explain more. Good for now. So, yeah, I mean, again, if... Um, if you're surrounded by a community of people that don't like to see revealing stuff in characters and stories and stuff, then yeah, that's the kind of criticism you should expect. There's not going to be many opportunities to show that kind of thing in a way that they would feel justified, but it just at that point depends on 
who you believe you're making the story for. If, uh, you know, it's a question you'd have to answer for yourself. Because, of course, a lot of artists will create things that the community surrounding them is not interested in. And then you have to make a decision on whether or not that's what you want to do. <coughs> because I, you know, I think it's completely valid to do uh, a show as much or as little as you kind of want to for any characters. You go right ahead. Yeah, and you can create like sexy characters and stuff without exposing too much. That's also true. You'll be just fine, I'm, I'm sure of it. Doom, 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 doom. I finally caught you guys live. Yeah, the Mandalorian is crap. Yes, it is. Most people seem to have come to that conclusion after the third season at the very least. But hey, don't worry. I'm sure season four will be great. You got echoes or health? Where are your echoes then? Do, 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 do. We'll definitely be able to afford the two things I want now, but is that going to be enough? I got you. Now oh, you're frozen, bitch. Oh, did you just back up out of it? And now you're dead, right? <laughs> okay. May as well use this. Oh, nice. Oh, hey, that, that was okay. Go. Hey, what the? Using the hell out of me. All right. Um, boom, boom, boom. I'd like to note as a comparison, ODST and Spartan armor are designed to be used in space. In the ODST's case, can last up to 15 minutes in the vacuum. Well, well. Gorgeous. Wonderful. Mula, you've up covering either Rebel Moon or Aquaman? We wouldn't mind doing both, to be honest with you, but uh, I can't tell you exactly what's going to happen because I don't actually know yet. Merry Christmas, long man. Asmund Gold on EFAP when? I mean, you know, whenever you'd like to jump on and chat about whatever it is he's interested in. Hopefully, media related, of course. Alright, here we go. Use a shield strike, brother! Solid damage, but Bifrost is fucking me up. Okay, chill the fuck out, lady. It would be nice if you had some fucking stagger. Come here. Now, where's the boss? Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, why did that hit me? Christ, this thing's health. Problem is, I just spent basically everything on him instead of on the boss I'm about to fight, so... Again, if it's Magdio Modi, it maybe, but probably fucked. <coughs> but we can always hope. I've heard that's something you can do. Scorched Sweep and Scorched Earth, there it is. That's nice. Have I got all my upgrades? Oh, I need to do one more encounter, I think. Wham, bam, bam. Is that right? Yeah. The next base, brother. Be clear. Not exactly ready there, Mamiya, but I suppose I don't have much of a choice. Yeah, get the cooldown bonus. Need another 200 for the next upgrade if we beat the boss, so for now I can buy... Probably upgrade for Tartarus Rage, right? That could be a good decision. 
Get the simple resurrection stone. Uh, fine. That's the quote-unquote safe choice, but is that the right choice? I guess we'll find out. I think we can afford this as well. Probably. Or am I going to regret this? Maybe I will. It's hard to say. Um, any special Christmas plans? Happy Honda days. Special Christmas plans. Do you mean like for EFAB or for something else? Because we do have a EFAB movies intended to come out on EFAB Christmas, but um, sometimes that can go wrong. Hopefully we will. But for me, it's uh, family stuff. It's always family stuff. Hope you watch The Sopranos soon, Long Daddy. You'll learn that James Gandolfini gives the greatest performance in all of media as Tony Soprano. That'd be cool to watch. Um, Bad Batch covers clones and their place in society. But is Bad Batch good? Who can say? Please don't be Magdo Modi. Oh, it's the Hateful. Hmm. I don't know how this is going to go. Jesus. Thank you. Oop. Oh, come on, man. Hard enough as it is. Shit. Well, my health's fucked. No, wrong way. Kratos, buddy. You gotta dodge left or right. This is not Prometheus. At least it shouldn't be. Alright. It's okay. The build we've got is almost there. I've just gotta be better, which is asking a lot. Well, we can go watch Godzilla together. I have little to no screening here, lol. Yes, we can definitely do that. I was actually gonna suggest that, yeah. I haven't seen it yet, and by the time I have plans or time to do so, you should be here, so we can go do that. I don't like either of these, but that's fine. We've got a relic, I just need to get recharges on it, which is going to be a little bit tough. Also, metal! You should watch how I do this if you ever want to play this more. I don't know if you've given up on it, but um, this is the, the, the Greek part of this whole thing we're about to do. I should be able to clear it relatively fast, and there's a particular way. Don't need that. Need that. That would have been nice, but we can't get that as well. Because I've got all my blade upgrades now. I need my relic upgrade, and then we can take on tier. Without that, I don't think I can do it. Um, I can afford the extra resurrection stone as well, but, you know. It would be bad. This, this is the hardest possible difficulty, by the way, what we're doing. Which is not fucking easy. But look at that damage we got now. I haven't even got my fucking light runic yet. For those who don't know, that's bad. This little fucker is so annoying. get little fleeting echoes for it, which probably aren't even that much worth it. I might pick up a health and rage boost, but I should typically save them for tier. As you can see, my supplies aren't looking good, that's all. Which do you like more, Soma or Lord of the Rings? I think I answered this before, but it's incredibly difficult to choose between them, but the Soma is like <coughs> one of the most core, meaningful things to me in life. Whereas uh, Lord of the Rings is just underneath that, but like still kind of that. So, I guess, gun to my head, I'd probably choose Soma, but, the, you know, they're both incredibly high up. Um, what do we have in here, anyway? That's okay. That's okay.
but neither of them are probably worth picking up because I've only got now this many slots, which we're about to stack up like crazy. Um, do you like how all of them are fucking blades related too? Or at least most of them. So survival... Oh, I fucking bought them already, didn't I? Ooh. This could be bad, folks. We'll pick this up now, because there's no reason not to. Might just save my ass at some point, who knows. And upgrading these two, we can at least do Leviathan's Roar. Yeah. Okie dokie. Have you tried holding odd one combos for blades? Gets pretty OP. I've not tried that run, but I've uh, I've heard that it's okay. I've only had one extra slot on my last tier kill off my ass off. Should have probably gotten more in hindsight. Well, I can show you how that looks, essentially. Ahsoka or Rebel Moon, which is the better long man? Ahsoka. Ahsoka at least pretends, sort of, that a character's having a journey in some way. And I mean, you got um, Balin as well who I have compliments for, so. There is nothing I have compliments for in Rebel Moon. Like I said, my Rebel Moon was almost kind of worse than I actually thought it was gonna be, which is really saying something. This is a lot tougher than usual. You got some uh, rage though. And at this point you're gonna need to take the stats wherever you can because we are losing space rapidly. But yeah, this one is often one that can fuck up my whole run. So we'll see how it goes. You little shit. I fucked that up myself there, by the way. Yeah, this is all going wrong. I couldn't even fucking move throughout all that. Nice. Yeah, this is all because I didn't tap R2 properly, by the way. That's feeling particularly fun. Fuck off. One resurrection stone left. Not where I want to be. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I have a feeling this is not going to end well. Don't bother with Rebel Moon as a clown movie. Little bit. Oh, fuck off. What is this? Ah, this is over. Please kill her. Almost ran out of time on that already. That motherfucker moving around just cost me like an easy kill. See the timer? Died. I believe your targets on the battlefield there. No, thanks, bro. Well, that's the last resurrection stone.
How are you still alive? Well, yeah, this run's dying. Uh, we'll have to go with that. The We lost out on probably one of the best perks as a result, which is not good. Like I said, I'll still give it a shot. Better hurry, only seven hours to finish before EFAP starts. We'll only go for as long as I can, it's alright. Ah, what a shame. Like I said, I see all of this as a result of me not pressing R2 properly in that one fight. Which sucks ass. I don't think I'm going to use those tactics. Well, oh shit. Can I get a refresh on my runic abilities, please? Feel like I've been a good boy. Is he getting healed? He is. Can we get the... I may as well give up. This is kind of fucked. Hey, bud. Find you. Look out. Like, it, it's not over, but it kind of is. <laughs> there you go. It's awkward, because, like, it was only a couple of small things that went completely wrong. And it's interesting, too, because the mid-boss, like, it's randomized, but there are, like, bosses that I can clear, bosses that I have trouble on, and bosses that I probably won't be able to beat on this difficulty. Kind of crazy that it's randomized, you know? Things a bit more hospitable inside. <coughs> ba ba da 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 ba da da da. Anyway, uh, Rebel Moon probably needed more blurry camera and broken camera like Army of the Dead. Yeah, uh, shocking amounts of blur once again of things that. It was a really funny shot where the girl is talking to the robot near the beginning, and she um, they like it's like a flat shot with the two of them. At a probably equalish distance, and her whole face is fucked, like because of the blur. And I just, um, I just don't quite understand what the fucking point of it is. One last super chat for tonight. What do you think of Doctor Who's anniversary? I thought it was pretty disappointing myself with some good qualities. I kind of hated it. Um, it was pieces, I guess, that I enjoyed somewhat, but mostly did not like it, which is unfortunate. I was very much looking forward to seeing Tenant back, but. I think, maybe, it's a be careful what you wish for situation, you know? A uh, bit demoralizing, but we can try and give this a few more goes while I'm playing. I think I should have played something a little bit more chill. Why can't you give me something I want, like... Oh, uh, we could go with this. I, I don't think I can beat this with the elemental spear run. Didn't even get to show you how to rush through the Greek area because I fucking died. So lame. Like the part where the soldiers were like, it's graping time and then graped all over the place. Oh yeah. Very funny how they're portrayed as just fucking idiot weirdos. It's not there's no like because I can buy that a situation like that would occur, but the way that it does is so funny. They're like so cartoonishly evil. But then again, all the bad guys are, so... Finger of Ruin. That's consistent enough. Uh, watched your last stream on DS3. Would it be safe to say that your opinion of the game has lowered since your first ever playthrough? I think it went up and down. Like, um, I had more problems with the DLC than ever, but I appreciate the campaign more the main uh, campaign this time around, you know? So, I guess uh, probably stayed the same-ish, because I have more criticisms and more praise than I did before. Complicated. 
Zack Snyder never changing, never learns that the way he writes and directs is mid to trash. No, I never saw that coming. Never. How dare you. Don't need that. Well, that'd be useful in the different run. Uh, decrease healing from health stones. <coughs> Six encounters. I'll try it. <clears throat> Means I've got to play good, which is, again, asking a lot. Yeah, we can go with that one. Interesting though, my two runic moves already. Never know what'll happen in what run. Some of them I don't even get like more than one runic ability. It's rather frustrating. Increase the spear throw, yes please. Alright, I keep coughing. Uh, melee damage versus realm shifts, no no. Alright, so my choice. We'll go with this one. Have you come have you heard of the upcoming Factorio 2.0 update? I have not. Sounds like it could be fun. Nice. Alright. Fucking, it's like a Dark Souls enemy. Oh. <clears throat> what else we got? How many enemies are there in this one? <clears throat> but yeah, if we can get the elemental thing going, uh, this run will be better, but I just don't know that I can beat tier with it. Jesus. <laughs> Didn't keep my health for that one. Uh, it is incredible how you guys can find such new and inspiring things to say about Lord of the Rings every EFAP coverage. So it's, it's a wonderful source to use for storytelling. It's it's filled to the brim with all kinds of things to say. Maybe we'll cover it in four years from now with a different cast once again. <clears throat> all right, we can do the lunge upgrade. The spear upgrades. There's not a huge amount that I need to get. That's probably part of the problem as to why it's not as powerful a run. I shall indeed sacrifice rage and health, whatever you may have in here. Go for defense. It gave me multi-layered inspiration when it comes to creating my own storytelling. It's wonderful to hear. Keep at it. Smoking that long pack? I assure you, it is not that I am smoking. I am simply of a coughing sort. Also rage. Something I should probably use more. The rage benefits I had in that previous run, man. I swear to god, it's that I just had to press R2. That was it. If I just hadn't fucked that up, I feel like the whole run would have been better. I'll never forgive myself. <clears throat> Especially because I don't even have confidence in this run, but we shall do what we can. Hang on. Let me drink my golem juice to make my throat better. Boogie is banned off Twitch. Thanks for that tweet. You got banned for that? Oh, fucking idiot. <clears throat> I suppose we'll try and go strength. I need some damage on these spears, you know? Yeah, for those who don't know, he was like dancing naked because he was trying to prove a point, I guess, about the black bars thing. Um... I don't, I don't know. I tweeted about it if you really want to see it, but I mean, nobody's going to recommend that. We've come this far. Anything we need this moment. <clears throat> Health on spear kills, probably something I should get. I feel like this isn't going to be enough to actually save the run. Rather, it might actually be a hindrance because that's something I've bought now that I can't buy other things. But, hey, you know, we're here to have fun. Try different things. 
Rags, is it okay if I play Original Sin 1 instead of 2? I would have bought both, but I, uh, one was cheaper and my ex-wife doubled the child support. Also, hi, Rags. Critch is for the good boy. <clears throat> I'm sure he'd be fine with uh, you playing any of them. I assume he prefers the sequel, though. And in which case, uh, oh, you can play that as well eventually one day, too. Ooh. That's not... Why? Oh, boy. No, there's just too many enemies, my man. What bonus have I got right now? <clears throat> I gotcha. They're still alive? Yeah, I need that bonus that gives me more damage if I hold down aim for two seconds or whatever. That's another one for this run. Um, this goes against everything why the Rebels fought against the Empire. They're suppressing and demeaning their former enemies and torturing them to erase their memories to justify their rebelling. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they wanted us to think about that in Episode 3 of Mandalorian. In terms of, like, the state of the um, Empire infecting the Republic, I assume that it's supposed to relate to how the First Order are going to be taking over. Eventually. Not sure what exactly they have planned to, to do with that, but... We'll see. Melee attacks have a low luck chance to restore cooldown. Alright. Lopping off limbs left and right, but no gore. I see, that's one of the points that people just can't fucking understand. I told you, it's explained quite dramatically by the fact that if you play well, more limbs come off. Uh, don't need that one. Oh, that's what we need. <clears throat> and I have plenty of fleeting echoes to spare, but still don't feel powerful enough to get through this. Oh, that's the other one we need. That's like the full build. So I'll give it my best shot. We haven't died yet, right? Or have I? Oh, not yet. That'd be a weapon glyph, I think, or pick. Yeah, we'll try that. What episode are you catching up to? Uh, Lord of the Rings. So, we've got a long way to go, but... Like I said, we can be here for a little while. Do, do, do. I, I grew up surrounded by pterodactyls. Yeah, a lot of people did, apparently. The baby Yoda is wearing me thin, not gonna cuck me anymore. It's an interesting way to describe your feelings on that one. Fuck it all. That hurts me too, it doesn't just frost me. Oh, he's healing, that's what's going on. Look at these precision throws. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> Worked out okay. Um, I feel like Mola, when he saw Avatar W.O.W. wanting the kids to die, I kind of wish Grogu would die. Oh, the... Yeah, the, the, the scene with... Um, well, the scene at the end, where, where I was like, please, kill the children. So, 
Very much a positive experience, as you could tell. <clears throat> I don't want any of these. Frost Awakening Frost. Eh. Very high luck chance to grant a health burst on any successful runic attack kill. Sure. See if I can even pull off some runic attack kills. Do any of the EFAP cast have pets? I don't think Rag's offering you, actually. <coughs> Fucking useless ass throat. Good. Hey, we're about to get rid of my limited healing as well. Which gives me what again? When Curtis' health drops to critical. Alright, so I gotta still beat the boss though. I think. Fog of Fimble Winter is. Pretty good one. Lovely. Maybe a Studio Ghibli arc? They've created some great films and is a refreshing change to watch actual stories come out of the anime industry. Yeah, I'm not against that. Um, I don't know if we'd be able to do it at some point because we got a lot of things stacking up, but uh, I wouldn't be against it. What do you think of the DLC? I think Mola likes it. Yeah, I like it. I think it's pretty good. I give it the old thumbs up. Even the coveted thumb up the bum. Use some limited time assistance, couldn't we? Oh, you'd think so, but probably not. Now, I feel like I can take on almost any boss with this build, because I can stay away from him, but I feel like that's also a jinx. So, we'll see. About my theory. Um Weirds. Words? Alright, well, thanks for the words. Uh, how would you feel about another DLC that follows Angraboda, but she plays hyper-violent like the first God of War games? <laughs> but why? Why would that be the... I don't know. I think I'd be a little bit confused. Oh, this is interesting. Great, that does nothing. Jesus. I don't even know if I can use my, um... Ugh. <sighs> Jesus. Is it bouncing off his feet? Hmm, oh, I felt like cheating. And I'm dead. How 
How come my rage is coming up incredibly slow? Is it because these don't count? why that didn't kill me exactly. I imagine I had like the fucking frost limiter. I'd be dead. Why didn't that work? Really? I thought we had it that time. Fucking hell. <clears throat> he pops those fast, huh? Yeah, I mean, that, that was a bit of a shame, because I had a lot of the uh, upgrades I needed for that run, but... Honestly, he might have been one of the worst people for me to have to bump into in the boss fight. Alright, we can do that. Did you see my Rags the Zebra meme I made on X? I have not seen that. Sounds like fun. The Shadow Shield has a spear spamming ability while holding R2 rhythmically and quickly alternate L1, R1 presses. Phase Shield works too, but not fast. The Shadow Shield has spear spamming ability. I'm not sure what that means, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Shadow Shield block, it does uh, low enemy back. I just, uh, I really like the Dauntless Shield. Though I don't use it enough. <clears throat> Ugh, why are I coughing so much? Baby Yoda is just a ridiculous plot scheme now. I don't even know how to describe what the fuck they're doing with Baby Yoda. I think I'm more cynical in the sense of just they just need to keep him in because he's a really good marketing fleam. Because, like, that story got revised and you know it did. They fucking changed course hardcore halfway through in uh, the Mandalorian stuff, you know? Marketing opportunity? Yeah, I mean, remember they, um, they kind of fucked it up when they first released? They didn't realize people would want to buy. Uh, Baby Yoda merch, and like a bunch of off-brand stuff got to sell. Low luck chance of granting rage burst. I mean, I don't, I just, I'm looking to do the, the run I'm hoping to do, okay, game? Looks like you're not going to give it to me. Oh, there it is. But I've just spent all my re-rolls, so we'll see how this goes. Ba -da 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 -da. Um, since Star Wars Theory disclosed that you and him split Super Chats on Stargrift, how do you do it on EFAP with Rags and Fringy, if you don't mind asking? Uh, we just don't, the, the, like, talk about it. That's something that me, Rags and Fringy sort out. Don't you worry about it. Obviously, if, uh, different shows reveal whatever they want about financials, that's up to them. But, uh, we tend not to. We just want to answer your messages and have entertainment going, you know? But, I mean, if you want to know if we split them, then of course, yeah, we do. Baby Yoda will die when he's eaten by a frog. If only we were so lucky. Holy shit, we've got the two upgrades I need the most at the beginning. What's going on, game? I was going to say, is that, like, lucky? But then I don't think it is, actually. Ooh, I like Atlas Eruption a lot as well. We still need power-up runic attacks with a uh, charged whip flash. Or... Yeah, I think that's what it is. What have we got? Inflicting yourself with anything, brother. Increase the damage of blaze runic attacks when immolation skill gauge is fully charged. Eh, it's not quite the one I want. What's that one? Poison will be inflicted whenever blocking enemy attacks. Four encounters. We can do that. I feel like we can do that. If I can't do that... I don't deserve to exist, let alone play the game. Where's Batwoman? Is she safe? Is she alright? Being worked on. She shall join you in the world, eventually. Wait a minute, did I buy the crippling effect? 
Yeah, he did. Okay, wow. Thank goodness. Moodle, you'll get your pay when you fix this damn door! Does he even know even that reference? Does he? Don't need that one or that one. That one's okay. Might get that one when we return. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, that is the plot of Airbud. I'm not sure what you're referring to over there. Okay, I just missed him apparently. Hey, buddy. What? Did they just not give me that grab? Okay. Let's try and stay alive this time. That would be great if I could do that. Uh, the EFAP is a crucible. In it, we burn away irrelevancies until we reach the flames for all time. Wonderfully said. We're on episode 7 of Mandalorian now. I would Minecraft a person just to see a one-hour scene of a character, of in-character Luke, talking to Ahsoka for the first time, and Luke asking her about war stories and how Anakin was during his years as a Jedi. Well, you have to understand. Nobody, and I repeat, nobody, would have thought that it would be interesting to have Luke and Ahsoka talk about all the things that they don't know about each other. Why would you do that? That sounds boring. You just have them instead share like one or two lines and that'll be it? Oh, that's the other one we need, by the way. Curtis now takes damage and loses rage when broken his block by yellow ring attacks. I have to go for it. Not one I like, but uh, it'd be very much worth it if I can... Maybe compensate with some other stuff. See what else we got here. Rage Burst on Kill. Burn Shockwave on Whiplash. Yes, please. I hope this comes in handy. It sometimes does. Maybe you have to play Fortnite to hear all the important dialogue. Yeah, maybe. That would certainly improve it. I guess we'll get the strength. Dude, sometimes I do like a full stat run just to see how far I can go, and I cranked stat, uh, strength like almost to full. It was pretty cool. Character writing is distasteful to me. Alright, I guess we're going this way. Do, do, do. It's sad Felony is it alone in charge, no trust. No, I don't think so. I'll be curious how long um, it'll be before Bowers Theory will be like, hoping that he's not in charge anymore, you know? If at all, who knows, maybe he'll make some great work. Alright, let's do... Well, this damage is just incredible right now, so... I'm not really worried about just not doing this infinitely. Hello? Nice one, Kratos. Oh, fucking hell. It's a zombie. Wait, what? Where's my fiery bonuses? Come on. Here we go. Okay, let's get out of here. Have you people on your radar to critique for future EFAPs? There's some videos we're interested in covering, if that's what you mean. Alright, I'll need that one. Defending from projectiles is very good. Uh, hey, Muller, just watched the Rings EFAP, I love it, but Goblin King and the Hobbit was the late, great Barry Humphreys, not the mighty Ian McShane. Yeah, I left a comment about it, I mixed up the voices. My bad, but um, either way, wasted talent, I would say. But uh, very true, yes. 
very good voice. What are you going to do now, wizard? I want this. Yeah, sure. That'll do it. He does kind of sound like Ian McShane a little, if you're, if you're a little deaf. Alright. When time allows, you guys should check out Charlie Hutchinson on YouTube. He does amazing deepfake skits on Star Wars content, Lord of the Rings, and Game of Thrones. I've seen some of them. They are rather funny. Um, Project Necromancer is an allegory for destroying favorite franchises. It's brilliant. You know what? I guess it is. Uh, you seen YMS's review on TSMBM? He fucking hated it. TSMBM. The... The Star Maps Beyond Moob. What's TSMBM, everybody? Help me out. A little edge for this attempt, perhaps. A little edge. Restoring cooldown, that's the one we want, I think. No, we want the other one. So I guess I should pick this up. Yeah, we'll grab it. Gary playing watchdogs, he would figure out how to open doors eventually? We would hope so. TSMBM. Yeah, I don't know what TSMBM is. Super Mario Bros. movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I saw his video on it. I don't know. I just... <laughs> you hate it. You hate it, I suppose. It's gonna be annoying. Oh, shit. Eat this, bitch. Jesus, did that hit me? Are there any more of you? Yeah, there is. See, you need to stop. You have a problem. Yeah, you get a lot of blessing of cooldowns from Whiplash now, which is very good. I feel like I'm surviving pretty good. What do you guys reckon? What do you think that's uh, the stupidest thing I could have said at this point? Because I'll agree with you as well on that one. Burning status inflicted by 15. Yes, please. Um, already watched the new Godzilla movie? I have not, I am afraid. All right. Like to say Filoni steals most of his characters' personalities from his characters from Legends, bo is just a more incompetent Shea Vizsla from Star Wars The Old Republic. That's what I hear. A lot of them... A thinner versions of other cooler ideas. Which is unfortunate. Oh, hey, bud. Shit. How is that not knocking the whole thing off? Damn. Yeah, hang on. Thanks for doing that. Shit. Oh, look at that fucker. Why would you dodge? I'm trying to hit you. You're ruining my whole plan. That's the one you needed. Well, thank you. <clears throat> Alright, we got Poison Defender is done. So my damage increases when it's above 75%, which it currently... Well, that looks... <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> Wait, it'll go up after I open this, so we should be above 75 at least for a little bit. Increase the damage on the blade's burn. Didn't I just get that one? Hmm, let me have a look. Boom, bam, boom, boom. Damage on the, the blade's burn status inflicts on enemies. Yeah, we did. So we got two bonuses for it. Okay. 
Doom, boom, doom, boom. That looks just above 75%, which will last for about five seconds in the next place I go, so better make use of it. Right then. Time to ascend to the next I've already area. got that. I don't need to go that way. What do you think of the GTA 6 trailer? I'm not too bothered by it. I feel like it doesn't tell me much yet, so I'm going to have to wait, you know. We'll see what happens. Right. Instead of destroying the big sea monster, Mando should have got his water skis and jumped over it. Yes, that would have been the way to do it. Two bucks on wings, that guy needs a win in his life. Oh, we're on to the, um, the premiere of the Wings vs. Boogie boxing match. Th this super chat just says, we straight up farted. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't know what to make of that. The Battle of the Giant Floops. Remember Rock'em Sock'em Robots? Well, I guess, uh, be a little bit different. We do indeed be farting. First time I'm not working Sunday in three months. Glad to catch a live EFAP finally. Hope you enjoy. EFAP should do an LTG deep dive. Does anyone know what that means, LTG? Not sure. Duration of all status effects going up is definitely an option to buy, but we've not really got the room to be grabbing anything right now. It's good because I'm going to fight the boss in a moment, and I feel like I'm going to lose. But that's alright, because I'll try anyway. Low tier god. Oh. Oh, it's this fucking guy? Why? Hmm. Alright, that's a better start than usual. Don't mind setting yourself on fire again, mate. Fuck's sake. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Pulling that shit out. Is there a reason why you can just fucking plow through that? As far as I can tell, it's pointless in me trying to use any runic attacks. I should just do this. Remember that 75% health? That lasted a while, didn't it? Say goodnight. Hello, Mola. Can't wait for you to watch the Clone Wars with Theory. There's some truly awful garbage in that show. That's what I hear. I suppose I shall discover in due time. Not fair. Why can't I have more health? The thing is, it just drains the fuck out of my health every time I enter a battle anyway. Oh, we could get this. Immediately restore a fair amount. We'll get some more defense. I mean, it only makes sense to get more defense, doesn't it? Especially with the basic regen I've got. But we'll open this for the memes. Got to get that relic bonus. How am I doing on these? Almost gotten this, and it's... Uh... Oh, it's, it is the relic one, right? Sweet, okay. I forgot we had that one cooking. I might just be able to make it, folks. Gotta remain hopeful. That's what, that's what you do in these situations. Okay, don't need that. Don't need that. Get the attunement. Um, how many... If we've got that many, I think I might skip over the enemies here, because I uh, don't want to take any huge risks of taking a lot of damage. damage -o. Um, I think I can buy two runic upgrades, and we probably will. No, don't want to fight you guys. Chill. Chill with you guys too. You just you live and you do whatever you do. Peace. Uh, this reminds me of the, too much of that South Park episode about raising the bar. Raising the bar. I think you're gonna say it reminds you of the cripple fight or whatever. Cripple fight. Does he announce that in a church at one point? Uh, 
Uh, tape your pants on and cover your faces, boys. It's boxing time. It truly was. If Boogie gets injured during this competition, who gets to pay for his health care? I wonder if he signed it so the the Happy Punch people wouldn't have any responsibility on that front. He probably did. And they did stop the fight because he was probably going to get killed if they'd carried on. You know, I don't need to pop these anymore. I just feel a need. A need for speed. Um... Never cared about sports. Props to you, long man, for making me interested in this. Quality content through and through. Oh yeah, I don't really care about sports either, but that, that's special. Okay, um, that one's alright. No, I mean, that one'll be good in a different run. That one's a maybe too, but we're gonna stack up on anything else, everything else anyway, so. Now, I wouldn't mind getting the full upgrade for Atlas Eruption, because I do consider it to be pretty solid. I just can't remember if we've gotten the upgrade for boosting... Runic attacks after a charge. Doth thoueth haveth that one. No, no. Blessing of cooldown. No, no, no. I don't. That's unfortunate. Because that can really help out. That's actually arguably a missing part of this build, but... I shall do what I can. Now, we need one more encounter to get the relic charge benefit, and then we can start using that. Because believe me, folks, I'm going to need it. Let's hope this doesn't go cringe. Hmm. You just dodge that. Also, poisoning me is absolutely rude. Let's see if the rune run gets completely destroyed by this one. I'm expecting a centaur this time. Yeah. Getting healed already. Getting... Oh, come on. Cool down, please. There we go. Health is not looking good. Increased damage of blades, runic attacks, and immolation scale. We'll, we'll go with that. I like the other one, but that one we'll have to do for now. I love that 75% health bonus thing, it's just useless to me. <laughs> the odds of me getting back up there are not fucking high. Um, 10k on woman, what a fool. What are we talking about? Oh, you're talking about... Uh, Boogie? I think he spent a lot more than 10k. A little more, look, I can't wait for you to watch... Oh wait, no, I read that one. Sorry. $5 on wings, I think everyone bet on wings. Never cared about sports. Oh, wait, I read that one. Looking forward to the follow-up fight with Ornstein versus Ornstein. Well, that's just regular boxing. The Smo v. Smo was uh, the funny one. Alright, game. Let's do it. I your Fucking hate it when she does that. Okay, good. I know. Oh, fuck off. What was that? I swear if they hit me from behind, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, they got such little rage as well. Nice. I'm just 
sort of fucking shooting in the dark here. Really? Here we go. Oh, what was that, mate? A fucking skid across the ground? That was cringe. Thanks for stealing one of them. I'll just kill him. It's like they don't even respect the fact that I need those. Below 50 is probably more accurate, yeah. Different drastic increase charisma. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, that health is so bad. At least my time isn't so bad, right? Right. Great, nothing on my runic abilities. Ah, fucking hell, calm down, woman. Yeah, wrong target, Kratos, but I'll take it. Just bite? What does that do? Eh. Better than nothing. Alright, please don't spawn anything. That would be really nice for your game. Okay. Suppose you have your opinion. This is time I can't really spare, but if I can get an extra runic attack, that's good. I do like that one. Mainly relying on runic uh, relics now. The bottom right, for anybody who doesn't know. Anyone realize Boogie had to push wings with his arms, but wings just needed to push him back with his belly? I didn't notice that, but that sounds kind of funny. And also viable. Simulations full. Use a shield strike, brother. Oh, come on. Trying to heal. So rude. Let's take the way up. Okay, gotta run. We need to stay in level one for as long as we can, basically. Oh, you motherfucker. There it is. Every time when that mother piece of shit spawns there. Because that time is going to run the hell out unless I can really ace what's in the arena room, but that's rather difficult. At least I've got a resurrection. That's nice. Activate and spawn rage triggers a realm shift. We'll have that. The question mark one is really good, but it conflicts with the run I'm trying to do right now, unfortunately. All right. Now, this is something of a quality life upgrade they could get. This takes ages. I want to upgrade all these to full, but I gotta go through the motions. You see? Oh, it is interesting, I've got one for all of them now. It'll be something to use on tier if I get the chance. Probably buy the resurrection stone as well. 
Um, yeah, it's it's really cool and flashy and interesting when you only get one every once in a while, but when you get them all together, it's like, uh, you mind? All right, how's my health and rage? Pretty bad. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, because, uh, staying in level one is kind of super important if I can pull it off. But it is rare that I ever am able to, because this part is a little bit tough. And I went for that extra relic, which is probably not a good idea, in retrospect. But immersion... not even immersion, oh. <laughs> What was that, Kratos? Jesus Christ. Run out of time. Pop it, boy. Melee damage increased based on rage. Eh. Health drops to critical level. We got a barrier. Yeah, we'll take that. Run! Alright, this is closer to what I was trying to say, Mel, in terms of things going well. This is still not as well as it can go. Obviously. Try and get this one done fast. Nice. He's frosted me, my favorite. Yeah, this is taking me too long. We're going to run out of level 1 soon. Increased timing on window for parry. Immolation goes up fast when hitting a status afflicted enemy. Yes. Level 1 is easier. Stay. Well, that's that for level one. That enemy grows stronger. You better hurry before it happens again. I mean, it's not too bad. Should be able to pull it off anyway. Runic attacks do more against status afflicted or cooldown. We'll go with cooldown. The poo poo chicken. What? Uh, who is the worst superhero in comic book movies today? I'm torn between The Flash, Doctor Strange, and Captain Marvel. Feels like everyone's been assassinated, though, so I'm interested in your answer and reasoning. Uh, well, you say superhero, so I don't know if... Oh, no, you said comic book movies, so it would be Wanda, right? She's probably the most monstrous and horrifying of all of them. Working? Fucking hell. Uh, but yeah, that's probably what I'd go with. Low luck chance to grant rage bursts. That could be helpful. How are we doing? Yeah. Gonna have to start nuking them if we get good ones. Fucking hell. Get out of the feckin' way. Yeah, oh, well, uh, my reasoning for it would be that she's just a huge monster. She's 
does horrible things for stupid reasons. They've completely destroyed her character. You guys are right, I should be using the relic more. say I know. happens on this difficulty because your fucking health bleeds no matter what. Thanks for ruining everything. I know. Concentrating, Mamiya. Still not dead? I'm not risking this. Alright, so we got two more left before we're reaching the end. Oof. <laughs> it's been rough. Last second evade. I don't find that one that useful. We'll take the stats. It's good, but it's not as good as my, like, relic shift craziness, you know? Oh, Merry Crimbus. The first thing I see on Twitter is waking up is you sharing Boogie exposing his meat curtains on stream. Why would you do such a thing? Well, I was ex I was just reacting to it, okay? It's not my fault. I can't be blamed for anything. Mamiya should have warned you. I, um, I think it spawned on my feet. That's probably why he got confused as to calling it out, but yeah, fucking hell. It's, uh, it feels unfair, but... What can you do? I should not have grabbed that, but it doesn't make a difference. Health, please. Here we go. Where's my emulation? Hey, bad guy. That's probably what just stopped that fucking hell. You see how much he just took off me? did this to us. I'm sorry. Dude, my cooldown is really high up at this point, but unfortunately, that's only one resurrection stone. Not looking good, guys. Not looking good at all. So much health. Oh, 
Thanks, man. That's awesome. Okay, that's actually it for uh, the general. Melee attack based on rage. Don't need that one. Realm shift. When parrying, we'll go with strength, I guess. Oh. So, I would say my chances are pretty bad of beating Tia. Uh, the relic is the only reason I'll have any chance, but I don't know that it's going to be enough. Um, normally, I would go and fight big boy up there. The thing is, my build is basically complete, so I'm just risking dying, and I'm risking sacrificing a lot of health that I'm going to need. For example. So I think we're just going to go to Tia straight away. Um, but, you know, like I said, I just don't buy that I'm probably going to do this. You play this on hard? This is maximum difficulty with restrictions on, so it's... Uh, it is tough. First, uh, first stage of tier will probably have no problem, but anything further than that is going to be a nightmare. Got one resurrection stone, all of my relics charged. I've got all my my um, runic abilities as well, and they're all fully up. Most of my rage. This is a good position to be in. You know. Oh, let's give her a go, shall we? Speaking of YouTuber fights, do you think Boogie could take on Skyrim Granny? <laughs> Probably not. I've been awaiting your return. Good luck. Thank you very much. See what happens. Tia, how about you be nice to me, huh? Clever one, Kratos. Oh, thank you. Oh, that fucking scary health bar. These combos going forever. I'm running out of relics too. You came prepared this time. Come on. Shit, did that go off? Oh, zero relics. Stage one is done. Jesus, what the fuck? Arms up. Low on resources here. Got a relic back. Bad. That was completely worthless. It was the worst timing ever on that. Dude, I'm not getting any relic recharges. It's horrible. Defend yourself. 
Oh, give me a relic game. There's one. Ah, that's it. Genuinely, I only think I lost that because they just wouldn't give me relics back. I know it's a low luck chance, but man, I got like none. Ah, that's how the cookie crumbles, I suppose. Let's not forget to strike a bargain with Valhalla while we're out here. Every advantage I really wish they'd stop the Mamiya dialogue about upgrading shit when I've got everything. <laughs> it's probably like, you know, a little bit of a time to stop saying that. Stop suggesting that. I uh, hope you have a Merry Christmas. How did you enjoy Rebel Moon? I only made it halfway before giving up in frustration. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people couldn't continue uh, watching it. I made it through the whole thing. I probably deserve some kind of reward for that, right? Like uh, a trophy? I'm part of an elite group, that sort of thing. But Mia doesn't know any Caesars behind you. True. It can of know. I'm honestly amazing that a game series that could easily have been and has been seen as immature and toxic is given the love and understanding it deserves while every other franchise is destroyed. Yeah, this one is a lighted beacon in the deathly hallows. I'm not referencing Harry Potter, I'm just saying that. It sounds like a good thing to say, but... Um, especially after this DLC. Have you seen people still say that it's ashamed of its history? It's fucking wild, man. I don't think the writers could do anything else at this point. I think it's a fundamentally good thought to have about any position you hold. Uh, is it possible for it to be disproven? And at that point, if you can't think of any way that they could do it, then it's like, might have an untenable position, possibly. Alright, well. At least I showed you guys how it's done. Had I blocked that one thing... I'm still so annoyed that the, the relic charges were so shit. They just wouldn't give me any. There's a chance of it doing it on every hit. Did you see how many hits I was plowing into him? It's sad. That tier, man. That first phase went really well, too. But uh, it started to fall apart when I ran out of relic shift. Uh, realm shifts? Realm shifts, yeah. Returning from rage, get a brief boost. May as well just play at this point in terms of whatever they give me, you know, because I don't think it's going to work out very well. Meteoric Slam. I always like that one. Ba, ba, ba. Was that a level 2 or level 1? Level 2. Cool. That'll be handy. Rip J, 1999 to 2023. Looking forward to Ghost J. Gay for short on the next EVO. As are we all. Going to give yourself an affliction, brother. You're asking increased criticism, melee damage, and he's below 50%. In exchange for weapon damage is reduced unless immolation is full. Yeah, we can go for that. Depends on what these are. Yeah, definitely. Though my immolation is going to charge super slowly right now. I haven't got any bonuses for that one. At least not yet. Ba -ba -ba. Charges up faster. There you go. And we can come back and get Burning Immolation next time. Because, if I buy it now, I might not be able to afford whatever's in the next section. And that might be even better. Who knows? Alright, can I get a Strength 10, please, from, from this? That would be nice. So this is when the we were streaming the premiering the descent with uh, Neil Marshall. Mr. Marshall, good sir, I'm now going to buy hopefully in all in physical media all of your work, kind sir. Thank you for your craft and it shows in all your work. Let's support directors like this. Come on, mates. Hell yeah, that was a really fun and awesome experience. I hope in future we can sort of uh, do some more with him, maybe different movies. So we got one and this one. We'll go this way. Got Helm's Deep theme stuck in your head. Not quite Helm's Deep. I can see how you'd think it was, though. Why is this fucker here? It's 
It took 10 years to kill it. Oh, thanks, man. Sorry, what? Did you just spit at me? Little butt plug. Alrighty. I've waited for this review for 11 years. Oh my god. Alright, now on to Batwoman Season 2. Episode 11, I think. It's been 84 years. Wait, this isn't Gotham Knights reaction? No, but those will come eventually. <clears throat> and that pushes us to Ahsoka. You guys remember that show, I think. Alright, runic damage is improved when immolation is fully charged. That's a shame as well. I keep not getting the runic attack bonus based on Flame Whiplash. That's the one I'm very used to, and is much better. In fact, I wouldn't mind restarting, to be honest. We've had a... This is not a good selection. Certainly not what I prefer. Ba, 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 ba. Blade hit gives you strength and runic. Dress increase the power of chaotic rampage. I don't want either of these. That triggers a realm shift. Eh, fine. That's not bad. I just don't find myself using it that often, that's all. So, what do we have? Nope. Nope. Yes. Always love a bit more burning. Oh. Hey there, fella. Why is my immolation not going up? See that? How come? Man, he is slow. He's a lot less scarier than the big boss version of this. My emulation's still not going up. Am I missing something? Ever. Reduced because of the burden? Wait, like outright? The gain rate is reduced. Yeah, but not to zero, right? Or is it just zero? That sucks. Uh, Qui-Gon didn't get the Vax. I'm not sure... We didn't even see him, did we? <laughs> in episode one of Ahsoka? This show reminds me of the Han Solo and Princess Leia quote when they are in the trash compactor. Hey, it could be worse next episode. It's worse. Oh yeah, that show did kind of get worse and worse as time went on. Could get that. Gonna risk it for a biscuit with this one, I suppose. Moderate luck of blessing or cooldown. Uh, I don't want any of these, really. That's okay, though. You know, this run could still work out, but I'm not liking it at all. Because we'll have to see. About to fight a boss. Seems like proper time to give this channel the money I would have had to spend on Disney Plus to enjoy these shows. Well, whatever you feel you'd like to give to support, we fully appreciate, because... Like we said, some of the videos get completely demonetized, but we decide that, you know, it's it's worth keeping them up anyway, so it's all right. We always we always appreciate the help. Um, I don't want any of these. When parrying, yeah, it doesn't happen often enough. Oh, stats or health? Probably stats. Which means we'll get two stats. 
Gotcha. Um, uh, probably go with that. Even though I like strength, usually it's just more for cooldown, which I'm gonna need eventually. Still haven't got a second runic attack. Was this my fault for not focusing on runic doors? Now, uh, must be a woman's women's restroom. Oh, this is for saw. Okay. No, officer, I didn't light that house on fire. It was the book of matches and the lighter fluid that did it. That is some jigsaw logic, pretty much. Playing devil's advocate for jigsaw, if Tap had actually gotten a warrant and had a SWAT team with him, Singh wouldn't have died. This is even pointed out in the Saw video game. How's a devil's advocate for jigsaw? Do you mean, like, um, had they gone in properly, then... Uh, Singh wouldn't have been killed by the trap. But I don't think that you're off the hook for setting a trap that's deliberately designed to just kill anybody who wanders into your uh, workshop, though. Then again, I don't actually know the full laws on that. Maybe it's dependent on how private a property it is. But, uh, yeah, they definitely took unnecessary... Oh, for fuck's sake. Did you need four attacks there, m'lady? Also, my damage is pathetic on these guys. Yep. This is just sad. What the hell? I don't even feel like I actually have damage, like, at all. So, I'm gonna quit that one out. Oh, I thought we had no, Mamiya, we didn't. Jeebus, that thumbnail. That's my famous bike. Thoughts on the DLC in regards to the story? I thought it was excellent. It's a very perfect cap-off to uh, Ragnarok as a story. I like that we address a lot of his um, Greek history, finally. Feels like a very suitable way to do it. I like that he's having a lot of conflict over becoming the god of war for the Norse pantheon, with the, you know, the new order being instituted by Freya. I think it makes a lot of sense that they would choose him for that role, and it makes a lot of sense that he'd be completely apprehensive about it. I like that he deals with a lot of the events of the Greek games. We actually hit them seriously, which we, we've been telling you guys forever. Some of the keys to making, like, stories really worthwhile is to stop fucking disrespecting everything. To try and come across as though you're, you're cool. You're a nice and cool person. You don't take things no seriously. You're self-aware. Lol, how silly and funny is everything? Meme, meme, meme. Now, it's not to say there's no jokes in this. Of course there is. But the fact that we can take the boat captain and have Kratos seriously contemplate what he did. Like, I think anything else would expect them to make jokes about it. Which was, uh, really cool. But they didn't. And then, of course, just having him reconcile the man that he was in the Greek games, which I think is reflective of how a lot of people saw him. And that this game is acknowledging that there's a hell of a lot more to the character, to his reasoning. We saw all of the individual sort of parts to that. Oh, that's kind of what I want as a good first one. That's good. Um, yeah, and, and just that um, in order to move on, he has to accept that part of himself, that the decisions were worthwhile. It wasn't something to completely run away from and shy away from, it's to incorporate and understand. And I think Tia was a really good character to bring that out of Kratos, especially with being that he'd be invested in fixing this world. Wants to help as best he can. Which is also cool, because Tia, you know, I think deserved a little bit of time, at least somewhat, and couldn't get that in the main game, really. It was fun to have that. And, um... Uh, I think it does work better that we don't fight old Kratos. I think that makes sense. Um, considering the nature of accepting and understanding the past. But I think everyone would have liked to have seen it. I don't know. Increase the rate at which rage is gained. Uh, we'll go with rage, I guess. I don't actually know between those two. Have you heard David Jaffe's comments regarding God of War? Yes, they're pretty cringe. Has he played it? 
I always have to ask that question whenever I hear people crit uh, criticizing the hell out of it. Because you'll be surprised how often they have not. Alright, I like that one. But I also like that one. Dodge rolling inflicts frost for three encounters. Cringe. This one is weapon damage reduced unless they're fully engaged. <coughs> um, arguably going to be the harder one, but we'll try it anyway. Do you see the weird child poison ivy crit scene from the shitty so Suicide Squad game? I did, yeah, that cringe as hell. And strange, I don't know why they've made that decision, but hey. So well, these are useless. What else we got? Increase healing from health stone. Ugh. <clears throat> I was kind of hoping we'd have something that matches the playthrough, but clearly hoping for too much. Whiplash gets a moderate luck chance of blessing of runic. Alright, we'll get the rage boost. We've got two forms of rage boosting at this point. I'm not too happy with this run, though. Okay, and a lot of the things I'd like to have. Uh, it took four days and 120 real syringes replaced with plastic needles to make that pit. Such a good scene. Shawnee did a really good job. Yeah, it's the most memorable thing, easily, from Saw 2. And there's a way to incorporate it that would make it a lot more effective IMO. But uh, still pretty good as is. I did more damage. And now who's on me? What the? Hi, fellas. It's a bit much, isn't it? Okay. <clears throat> nope, nope. Oh, let's re-roll. Hope for the best. There we go. One I actually need. Throat's acting up again. Why can't it simply be chill? Just checking notifications. Let me cough again, hang on. What game will you play next? I'm not sure. All of them. Every last one. I do want to play Hades now because of the... If the second one's coming out, it'd be nice to stream that when it happens. I suppose I'll have to, uh... <clears throat> get that streamed at some point. Burn Shockwave, yes please. I've got, like, pieces of my build. I think the big one I need now is... The triangle moves get boosted, but I have a feeling I'm... Not gonna find that one. It may be just for this try, but a little assist would be nice. Don't need any of them. We'll save the money. And now we're on to further on in Ahsoka. Balin should have been the villain for Star Wars sequels, and someone could have cloned Palpatine. We could have had Balin go and kill the clone. Possibly. <clears throat> I don't know. I'd probably want to move away from a lot of that, you know? Honey is a great cough suppressant. I'd imagine we're gonna have to find some. Oh, 
Fucking hell. That double tap of X didn't work out, did it? <clears throat> Hang on, lads. I will be able to breathe efficiently at some point, I'm sure of it. You guys coming or what? <laughs> I'm really building up that immolation. <laughs> I do like bouncing it when you, um, or bouncing people when, when you're spinning the blaze is just funny. Stub your toe, it'll stop you coughing. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Alcohol can be good for stopping a cough. I don't know if I trust all these suggestions. You guys sound ridiculous. Greatly increase the amount of that. Law. Oh, okay. Increase the rate of rage is gained when attacking status afflicted enemies. That could be good. Hmm. I've got a couple of rage related ones, don't I? Or do I not? 20% rage is gained. Um, rage burst on kill. Yeah, we've got a couple of rage ones. May as well. <clears throat> Let's keep the rage gleams going. Did I get the health over there? I don't think so. Yo, alcohol! Hold your mouth closed, you won't cough. But I gotta talk, though. Otherwise, you guys will be like, what's going on? What kind of stream is this? <clears throat> I'm actually tempted to get the health one there, but I consider that a losing strategy. Because, you know, we get regen anyway. Consult your local witch doctor. I should. Oh, hello. What's this? Inflicting yourself with anything, brother? Whiplash refresh? Nope. Nope. Reduce stun damage. Oh, that's easy, yeah. <clears throat> I'm still really waiting for, like, the better bonuses. It's not been great. Um, the entire sequels could revolve around... Oh, no, wait. I did read that one. But I tell you what Hera looks like? Jan Oz, the female companion to Kyle Katan, but instead of human woman, it's Twilight woman. She dresses similar. Alright. Fun fact, the world between worlds in Star Wars Rebels was said to be extremely difficult to reach. The only known method was some ancient painting of the Mortis gods in Lothal's Jedi Temple. Um, turns out you can just fall into the ocean and access it. Oh. Well. It's, it's, it's Anakin reaching out and grabbing her, maybe. I don't know. Have you ever played Shadow of the Colossus? I've been playing the remake, and it's one of my favorites with a simple yet powerful story with great lore. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus is one of my favorite games of all time. He's very good. Ah, goddammit. I suppose when you have a cough... You're not supposed to talk excessively, but here I am. Damn, now I want to replay Shadow of the Colossus. It's a pretty fun game, isn't it? Alright, this way it is. Anyone got any spare honey? Oh, I hate this one when I'm on blades. Yeah, thanks, mate. That's not what I wanted to do. Fuck you. Ah, Jesus Christ. Nah, fuck you. I don't want to play. <laughs> like, it's, uh, I pressed the buttons and didn't do what I wanted, so... <clears throat> I will refresh the run. I really want to start with the, um... 
the spin booster or the triangle booster first. If I don't get them first, it feels like the run is already crippled. Perhaps a judicious trade with Valhalla would help us get deeper in. <clears throat> the other runs I can do with almost like any build, but when you go on the hardest difficulty with limited the, the limited thing, it becomes like ridiculous. Mubla, good luck with Clone Wars. Continue to long. Oh, I shall. Wouldn't feel right if I didn't. Now, uh, now I get it. Why did Ahsoka not use the whales? Uh, <clears throat> do, you think, do you mean at the end? Because I assume that's how they're going to get back. That's what everyone assumes, basically. Nothing to worry about about being the, in a distant galaxy, abandoned, you know? Who cares? Yeah, I know. Oh, he died. I need it. Alright. So, game, what do we got? I don't really want any of these. Nope. Nope. Eh, that's kind of close enough, but... Uh, how about we try again? Don't, 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 don't. Extremely difficult to reach. You know, they'll pull the will between will stuff out of their ass whenever they want. You know, that's the big worry about whenever someone sees that sort of thing. They're just like, oh, well, that's that. All three of those suck. Yeah, the, it, when you get the rerolls and you're just like, all three rerolls get me something that's kind of okay. It's like, hmm. I think I'll just reset. Which makes you wonder at that point as a dev, if you're watching someone do this, would you then think, like, maybe we should just let them choose the opening one? Maybe something cool to, like, you know, unlock, maybe. The snore. I think it's funny that it looks like it says the snore, but this one says Val Grind. Like, welcome to the grind. Wow. Randomness is always better. Well, it's not randomness, though. They've already allowed you to re-roll. That already changes it from pure randomness. For example... No. Not at all what I want. Oh, damn. Well, I'm gonna have to go again. Oh, I didn't even change the difficulty back. I guess it didn't matter that time. Is there an EFAP tonight, sir? Yes, there is. I'm gonna have a long day today. And yeah, you can already choose... Um, which doors, you know, they, they try to add some level of control. Greatness. Especially all these as well. Definitely need golem juice, yep. The fabled juice of the golem. Mm -hmm. The Death Star had 123 hyperdrives for your information. Damn. <clears throat> Do they fire them all up whenever it moves? Or they like backups as well. Of course, I don't know. You gotta help your friend here, he's getting fucked up. Hey. Oh, wow. I mean, this is the hardest difficulty, they just have poise for days. Blah. 
Fun fact, due to how time zones work, it's already 2025 in Britain. Source, my uncle works at Nintendo. Alright. Increased damage, the blades burn, status inflicts. Is it ever going to give me the one that I want? Or even one of the three that I want? See, blazing surge and explosion. No, we want... Scorched Earth. None of these. Nope. Well. <clears throat> I mean, in terms of health loss, it wasn't a particularly good start anyway, but... What can you do? Uh, Mola Mig Rags look up pictures of Serbia. But why? What would be the purpose? At this point, a single good starting perk would be fantastic. Yeah, any of the ones that match the uh, the run, I would take, but they keep not giving me any. I mean, I suppose the burn one would count, but like that as a starting one is shit. <clears throat> shit is what I wanted to say, not shit. Also, turn the difficulty back up. They gave more of the crim. I'm convinced if you guys ever played Geogas, so Fringy would dominate and Rags would lose badly. I feel like both of them would dominate. I would probably lose badly. I'm really bad with geography. And boom. Right. What have we got this time? Plume of Chaos? No. Why would you even? No, not Blades combo attacks. That's not what I'm looking for either. Ridiculous. The triggers a Realm Shift. I mean, not really, no. There it is again. Rushing Chaos and Chaos Slam. It just doesn't want to give me the spinning uh, Scorched Earth. It's being, uh, it's being a little rascal. But it's alright, game, because I can continue reading messages. It would be cool if we had a TV series about Thrawn actually using intellect to undermine and disarm the New Republic while preparing the First Order. That would go a long way for healing Star Wars, I would argue. I would wager. I think it's a little bit embarrassing and unacceptable that we've gone to this point, and there's just, like, nothing in terms of potential to look forward to. I think Thrawn was one of those, but now that you've, you guys saw him... Apparently be embarrassing in Rebels, and then also be embarrassing in uh, Ahsoka. Not much to look forward to on that front, eh? These are acceptable losses. No, I am not retarded. Alright, I can head back in. Mola, make rags. Oh no, wait, I read that one. Notice how none of the troopers were sliced despite being hit by lightsabers? Yeah, there's a lot of that. They're baseball bats. Unfortunately. I posted a video with all the plot relevant parts less than three minutes long. For the season one of Ahsoka? That's kind of funny. Lord of the Rings EFAP is gold. Nice work on the edit. Thank you. We did kind of half die doing that one. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Boom! Thank you, Mimir. Alright, mate. Let's pop you off, is it? Oh, no, not quite. Ah, do it. Alright, game. Wanna be nice this time? Pull just a little bit. Still got it. Realm Shift, not really looking for that one. Hyperion pull and grapple. No, we want the the spinning scorched flames. We can deflect projectiles. That one is one I'd put in the build, but it's not one I want to start with, because it's not really helping me out. Oh well, that's that again. I was going to say, like, if we're going to have a good chance of having a run that's worthwhile, I should probably wait until I get something a bit more usable. Uh... I wonder how many times, at least three, that the characters looked at the camera. Yeah, there was a little bit of that. I wonder how many times the actors realized that the story wasn't progressing, like, at all. I wonder. Man, it would have been weird if we were doing Stargrift when those episodes were coming out. Because, uh, 
<laughs> I feel like Theory would be trying to keep it sort of chill and happy and exciting somewhat. And I would just be there like, But nothing has happened. Who is this ass Hoka? Suppose we'll never know. Made you look. You actually did. Nice. Alright. We'll scan on here then. Come on, lads. Don't be shy. No! It's a bit rude he didn't die there, you know? Honestly, I'm an idiot when it comes to writing intelligent characters, and I still feel like I could shit a better Thrawn than what Ahsoka gave us. You know what? I think you're right. Make a sequel trilogy edit for Stargrift? Whatever do you mean? They give me that one again. They give me that one like four times. Hyperion pull again. What's going on, game? We actually random here? Or not? This is another one they keep giving me. Spinning Chaos. Apparently they, they're wise to my desire to play a particular run. You're boring! Boring! Let me play the way I would like to. I've beaten the, the game with all your, your little weapons. I've unlocked all the things. The game is rebelling. It's true. It's rebel mooning me. Is there any fap tonight? Yes, there is. Begins in approximately 5 hours and 13 minutes. And uh, we're doing okay on the old super chat catch up here, I think. We're on. <clears throat> yeah, Saw. Saw X, I think we're nearly on. Hey boys, I'm currently listening to 146 EFAP. I suggest watching Copper Man if you want an Italian take to Iron Man. I think I've heard of that, actually. Mola, why must you stream so early? I'm sorry. But this is the only time I've got to do this. I was either going to spend it editing today or answering Super Chats, and I decided we were a bit further back on them, so I should probably try and catch up. Rest in peace, Matthew Perry, by the way. Damn shame. Absolutely damn shame, yeah. Way too young. Merry Crumbus, Mr. Lengthman. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to yourself. It's time to think of, like, what's the fastest way to kill these guys? It's gotta be a ring out, right? Oh, wait, not these guys. Wow, that's pretty fast, too. Okay, game. What else we got? Projectile dodging. Again, with the projectile dodging. What's the dealio? Rushing chaos. Burn shockwave. Ugh, that one's okay. I already feel like we've spent too many rerolls, so... The thing is, I kind of need them. But, um, I'm expecting any second now they're going to give me what I want. John Kramer would incinerate an innocent woman all because her husband lied, but God forbid a child gets put into the trap. Hey man, he has a code, okay? John has a code. Also, thank you for the memberships. Do 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 do. There we go. Right. Quick, play Jigsaw's theme. <clears throat> well, this is the Marvel's official final trailer reaction. Remember how Doctor Strange wasn't allowed in WandaVision and the other Avengers weren't allowed in Black Widow's movie because they wanted the female characters to stand on their own? Oh, the turntables. Yeah, they now they're like... Hey, come on, you like Iron Man. Look, it's Iron Man. Look at him go. You like you like little Chris Evans doing his doing his cap? Come on. Again, some of the most embarrassing marketing I think I've ever seen. And so someone's gonna finish Thanos' work. What were they thinking when they made that? What were they talking about? Back in lawyers, that's what. Gotta go to church, but thanks for the stream to get my morning going. Good luck catching up on the chat. Thank you very much. Enjoy church, have a good time. 
And get out of the way. <clears throat> right, one down in it. What you bring me? Rising Chaos. I think they're actually trolling me at this point. Oh my god, Scorched Earth and Scorched Sweep. Thank you. What I tell you guys? Now, watch this run end in the next room. Like something will go horribly wrong. Cost me a reroll, though. Always a sad reality. How are you doing there? Absolutely loving the first one, by the way. Might end up in my top five and can't wait for a PC release of Ragnarok. Oh, you'll love Ragnarok if you love the first one. Hell yeah. <clears throat> and then you can enjoy the EFAPs on him. Oh, guys. Okay. Okay, what's going on? You gave me both triangle boosts at the beginning. What's happening here? This seems awfully nice of you. Could this be the goated run? I don't think so, but I'm willing to give him a shot. I'm willing to allow the game to try and give me something nice. Anything seem worth the risk? Killing enemies with that gives a burn shockwave. Good, not good, not good. This is reduce runic attack damage. That's fine. We won't be relying on runic attack damage basically at all. I've seen the EFAPs in most of your Let's Plays, so I know the story. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll grab extra 12 health. That's a bit more in the percentage uh, healing as we go as well, right? Could be worse. Well, making sure I did actually select. We're on the right difficulty as well, yes? Yes. Who knows? Maybe I'll actually beat tier this time. Extra burn or projectile block. Extra burn, I suppose, isn't it? I'll grab projectile block on the way back, if possible. Question mark, or... or that's... Is that weapon upgrade? I forget. We shall give her a shot, anyway. Alright, let's kill the goblins first. Come here, you little shit. Oh, come on. Did it have to be? I hate that shield bullshit. What the fuck happened there? <clears throat> Alright, well, that could have gone better, but... Stay confident, everybody. It's okay. We're gonna make it. I'm pretty sure. Increase the burn. Increase damage of Blades Runic when we're in Immolation full. We'll get a Realm Shift from Immolation activated. I do like the Realm Shift one, especially in a build like this where we should be getting Immolation cranked up pretty quick. So, see what happens. Um, but yes, uh, so to answer that super chat, I guess it's dumb as hell that they would keep certain characters out of the narrative so that we avoid feeling like the women are saved by the men. That, that's uh, rather silly. I got this as a YouTube ad earlier today and found it hilarious. You guys, so glad you guys came out swinging just a few hours later, laugh my ass off. Yeah, the trailer is, that was particularly hilarious. Apparently the blue guy from X-Men in the end credits scene, I forgot his name, it's a Nightcrawler, it's the other guy. I mean, Beast, he is indeed in the end credits. Everybody's favorite. Patronizing to men and women. Oh yeah, it's, it's absolutely absurd. 
backward. Embarrassing. And I wish they would please stop. <laughs> Beast. Yes. Rip as, hopefully whatever you are, whatever you're doing, it's the only thing that brings you joy and happiness. May the dawn bless, spot protect, and Wilfred Brimley ascended smile upon you. Is this... Oh, this would have been the start of December, yeah. Rip ass. So this is the Soma episode. Would you consider doing an EFAP on the problem with Apu? Sadly, it might be the most impactful piece of media criticism of the last decade in terms of how much of an impact it had on entertainment and culture. Didn't uh, Jay Longbone do a response to it? I feel like that's probably solid enough, in it. Because, yes. Oh, shit. Did I actually look at the shop there? Whoops. I don't know how much of that was a good... Ugh, fucking hell, I wasn't paying attention. This is great. Oh, come on, man. Just burn. I don't think I did. Which is beard. Random Film Talk mentioned that he's kept away from spoilers for Ragnarok and will probably be streaming it when it comes out on PC, so that might be one for you to check out when the time comes. Hey man, if uh can let us know what he thinks, hopefully he enjoys it. If you like the 2018 game, like I said, can't see much of a disappointment. Is Troy good rat? I think so, yeah. Oh yeah, we're definitely getting these. Okay. I mean, that seems okay. I don't know. When permafrost immolation or maelstrom skill gauge is fully charged, Kratos gains a shield that prevents the first hit taken from resetting the gauge. Sure. That's the kind of... the shield stuff I always just don't notice. I wish I did. By generate. That shit was dumb. A little boost this time around, maybe. No, no. Man, when we get the runic upgraded by spinning my flames? Because I don't really want that one. Repost realm shift. Yeah, not looking fabulous right now. I have a feeling this one's going to make me re-roll. Almost certain of it. Oh, that's the one I want. Sweet. Lol. You know what? The game has provided me, like, the most important things now except for the relic recharge. So it's really on me again. I hate that kind of pressure. It's absurd. What did I do to deserve this? Farewell and adieu to you fair Flemish massives. Farewell and adieu to you massives of Fleem. Uh oh, where are we? What's happening? Oh, it's you. Hey, buddy. Well, I've got my upgrade, so I should be burning you a little faster this time. At least in theory. Uh-oh. How far back do I have to go for this? Uh-huh. Oh, poor guy's never gonna catch up to me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? That doesn't stagger him? I know he's a huge man, but come on. God, my health's gonna go back up. <clears throat> His feet have Alzheimer's. Not enough gore. Not any gore. Whatcha bring me? Hmm. I hate the flare. No. No. Alright, we'll use that. 
Get him on fire and then use a runic attack and that pumps up rage, apparently. Oh. It's going pretty well. Go, 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 go. No other. I'm just he takes too long to swap his weapon, honestly. Didn't want to do this, but I kind of am forced to here because I'm about to lose a shit ton of health if I don't. Got him. Got it, Valhalla. That's both relics down. Not the way I like to play that. But if I don't kill those birds quickly, they start to fuck me up huge. Increase the damage of blades, runic attacks when... No, block and parries, eh. Defense, double, why not? <sighs> Alright, Mauler, it's time for you to play the Fallout games. Maybe at some point, perhaps. Merry Christmas, Mubshli. Can't wait for this one to come out on PC. Yeah, it'll be cool. Did you fight Na in the main game? If so, how did you do it? Also, Mary Crimbus, you massive stay long. If you go to the last part of my Ragnarok playthrough, I think I kill her at the end. Um, I had basically, like... You guys remember I unlocked, like, I did my full combo of just about everything, and I think I killed her. I can't remember. I know that Metal was driven absolutely mad fighting her, so... Nice to know that he's still alive, you know. Alright, I said we pick up Deflection, and we are. And I can probably afford Blessing of Luck, too. Maybe this will help with the feckin' relic recharges. I would've thought Muller had played some Fallout. Not on stream, but I have played all of Fallout 3. And... I think that's it, actually. I think I 100%ed Fallout 3 back in the... back in the day. Alright, how are we looking here? Not great, honestly. Well, uh, this could actually be a loss. It depends on what boss they give me. Magdi or Modi, I feel like I'm not going to be able to do. Oh, I don't like this lady. Use a shield strike, I know. You like the music, though. We could really use a relic here. I'm dead. Almost. Come on, don't make me lose that last resurrection. Oh. I say last resurrection, one resurrection, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> Very close indeed. So, Mel, have you been tempted about trying to do this run at all by seeing me play? <laughs> Cure for cancer is discovered, but it somehow eliminates all spiders, flies, and mosquitoes from the earth because reasons. Good trade? Probably not. That probably destroys the whole ecosystem of everything. All spiders gone? I can't imagine what that would actually do. The thing is, I won't have time to play more until I'm back from your place. Oh, I suppose we could, you know, you could play it a bit over here. <laughs> probably something of a painful experience, I don't know. But yeah, that's true. I mean, you're going to stream at least one more time before coming over mine, right? Probably. You said you were streaming Christmas Day, I assume, or have you got a game plan for that? You probably do. Probably do. Alright, we'll grab these two. 
Ba -ba -ba -ba. How many rerolls do I have? Ba -ba -ba. I don't know, but uh, the only thing that's going to allow me to get the pick that I want, we're missing one. Lethal Company on Crimba Stream. I see. Wunderfuchlin. Das Guten. Uh, favorite Jedi that's not Luke? You can't say Rey. Hmm. Behind you, brother. Well, I guess Count Dooku doesn't count. Obi-Wan is up there. Yoda is actually... It could be Yoda, I think. I do love Yoda. He's awesome. You can't say Rey, and then someone's like, Rey. It's good that you blocked out Rey, because I was definitely going to choose her. Dooku was a Jedi, he counts. But maybe I don't like Dooku as a Jedi, more so as his his uh, developed position. But yeah, I think I think Yoda is probably gonna be the one. Um Don't worry, this will be the only Mega Man super chat between classic Mega Man and Mega Man X. Which do you prefer design wise? I'm not sure, I'm not familiar enough with them to be honest with you. I can't give you a more interesting answer than that. I'm just uh, you know. I suppose I find them both interesting, even out of the ones that we've had to choose between, you know? I do like Qui-Gon as well, yeah. There's not many Jedi I dislike. Well, not including Disney canon. <laughs> I was going to say, I like Mace Windu as well. He's cool. And interesting. Okay, no, no, and... Yes on that one, maybe later. Good god, guys. I only have Meteoric Slam. That's it. Let's we'll see how that goes. This run doesn't feel good. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Been playing God of War, not getting the results I want. Oh fuck, wrong weapon. Hey, what the? Can you fuck off? Poise, cunt. Thanks for stealing all that health I actually needed to be able to spend later. Also, that was a deflection. That was pretty cool. That took way longer than I would have liked. Valhalla is not impressed. Don't lie to me. Oh, I'm always worried about this second one as well. It always goes bad. And we don't have any relics to back me up. Alright. Healy boy. Doesn't matter if she gets me with that. I don't have any rage to steal. Oh, fuck off, you jammy shit. All right, where's the other one? Or is there not another one? There is another one. You little bastard. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, come on! I need more runic abilities. Stat. Dude, that took way too long. He keeps saying that, but he's just trolling me. Also, why are you giving me runic attacks for my non-primary weapon? That's just mean. Get me a... bit more of a boost on the fire. Get some health. I'm feeling the run's coming to an end any second now. Because this part is actually difficult when I don't have more resources. Um, you plan on checking out South Park's Nodo in the game when it releases out in March? Probably would be, yeah. Let me uh, 
fun to do. Do you think Stuckman has ever made a worthwhile and insightful video? If he has, I haven't seen it. Rush Hour 1, 2, then New Police Story, then Rush Hour 3. What's New Police Story? And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind covering them at some point. Maybe on EFAP movies. Could be Funzo on the Bunzo. Oh. Round of assholes is already here. Oh, that one's still not dead. Come on. He said time to die. I was like, thanks, Mamiya. Yeah. Ah, he did his little fucking jump forward. Stole my Halloween. I need those resurrection stones. Alright, there it is. Relic recharge. That is what I need, but I've also got to try and survive long enough to charge them back up now. Because I can start dominating if I have them back. We can still buy a resurrection stone. You know. I can't fucking believe I haven't got another runic ability. That's insane. Oh, fuck you. A sweet time to die. Breath of Thaumir, where's my light runic attacks for my... Alright, sprinting gives a short buff. I guess we'll get that. That's not even that bad, though. That's actually good to pull out. Also, I just fucking lost health. Oh, there it goes. Go back up. I'm not gonna get the other runic this time, because I think we might be able to do better if I don't. But It's gonna be tough either way. You know, the game takes a while to realize I've won sometimes, just saying. How are we doing on Rage? Okay. Oh, don't spawn a Harpy. I think it did spawn a Harpy, but it was too far away, so that's good. Oh, we're okay. Okay. Is it worth what it'll cost you? 
I turn 30 tomorrow. Thanks for the wonderful content. Hi, Rag. Hi, Fringo. Hi, Muesli. Hello. We'll get the critical health buff. Why not? And I'll upgrade my very few runic abilities. That is terrible. What is the worst thing about Alan Wake 1 and 2? Worst thing about 1 is probably that the gameplay doesn't evolve past about an hour in. Once, once it's introduced everything, that's it. Worst thing about 2 is everything. Except maybe the graphics. You know, it, it wins on that one, I suppose. Good job. Blessing of Runic. We can probably grab that. I'll get rid of... Oh. Wait, I can't buy it? Am I stacked out? Oh, shit. <sighs> That's gonna be a tough decision in a moment. I should play the best game of the year, Golem. I already have. You can find that stream on this very playlist. Though I guess this isn't in a playlist just yet. Well, that was annoying. He actually got a hit in. Fuck off. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I can't kill him fast enough. I tried. You mentioned that you play League of Legends. What's your favorite character? That'd be Victor. I enjoy him the most. When you get his laser cranked the hell up, it's wonderful. Oh, Cyclone of Chaos or Strength. Asshole. Gonna give me that ten years ago. Every time I do gore, people are like not gory enough. Uh, have you played Bastion, first game of the devs of Hades, and probably my favorite game of all time? No, but I need to. I think I played it for like an hour once. Frost is the fuckiest goddamn mechanic. Wow, he just didn't flinch a bit. Hello? What? This run is getting particularly miserable. Nice, Kratos! He didn't even hit the guy. Oh, not good. You're coping and seething? Absolutely. Cool down, I guess. Waiting on that relic that doesn't take the space of something really useful. Maybe I'll get it someday. And everything's just not flinching anymore. I guess it's because of the round two now. Even she's not. Hey, what?
Anyone else? Oh, fuck no. Dude, I'm about to enter phase three. Need any more evidence of how horrible this is going. Yeah, we'll get a runic upgrade, even though, uh... I'm kind of low on runic abilities in general. I've been, like, trying to conserve my relic usage. I'm still running out of those, too. Uh, I don't want either of these. Just full fit. Um, but, um, uh, you guys be checking out the new Godzilla in your free time. We will eventually, yes. Look up the spice melange. Apparently it's unobtainable and I must have it. Also, I'm gay. I'm a gay man. All right. You know what? That's fine. Is cinema kill yet? When has it not been? Oh man! Oh, I hate that move. It's honestly just because of the poise of it. You just trying to escape the range? You anal bead. Yeah, that ain't gonna help you being there, mate. <laughs> Also, you'd think, being all frosty, that I would, uh, cancel out the flames. Probably actually a good idea for just hitting a couple of guys. Uh oh. Well, that worked out. Is there a reason that's chasing me ridiculously? Also, relics are back up. sure. I think it was just me being bad. The, the, the one thing that I really missed out on there was relics. Like, um, the game's just not giving me any light uh, runic attacks. For, no, not relics. Runic attacks, yeah, for my um, my blades. I can't believe I spent that long without a, a light runic option. They finally gave me the, um, the, uh, Cyclone of Chaos, but, like, taking that over four strength is, is a bit of a tough decision. But yeah, like I said, it was a bit of a Bit of a boring death. <laughs> Getting bullied by the game. A little bit. Unedited footage of a bear is an effectively creepy and cautionary video. I recommend checking it out. Um, I think I know what you're talking about. It's like a meme, right? I don't have to talk to you if I don't wanna. That's the problem with RNG. I guess so, but they usually... Uh, push the two first runics of the blades onto you, or rather whatever weapon you choose. Like I said, I can't believe I got that far without uh, a light one. Been replaying Republic Commando, can't imagine something like this game ever coming from anything in the sequel era. 
No. We're well past awesome games being made, unfortunately. But hey, maybe, uh... Maybe everything will flip back. Also, that head just went right into the screen. That was awesome. Disney shut down the awesome game studio. Yep. Oh, it's going to be one of those ones, huh? Deflection. What was interesting about the deflection is that it cancels out the ability to actually use the move. Which can sometimes fuck me up, I'm realizing. It's the only time I realized that effect was actually in play, and it was because it's like, wait, where's my boost gone? And in a sense, I was starting to think that maybe tanking a hit in order to use one of those flame moves is actually not too bad, so... I'm not sure how highly I rate the deflection anymore. Like, it, it, specifically for the way that I play, I guess. You'll get worse, shorter games that cost more and you'll like it. Have you guys heard about their whole, like... Is it Sony that want to do uh, split a game into three uh, that cost fifty dollars each or sixty or something? Uh, loads of people are drastically upset about that future for gaming. You create a game and then chop it up and sell it like you know main game is I don't know a six hour campaign. Then there's a DLC that's five and then another DLC that's four or something. It's like, ugh. Just remember, folks, we were there when it was cool. Gaming, I mean. And it's funny because I think Santa Monica Studios just don't get enough appreciation. God of War Ragnarok was an enormous game. Price normally. And uh, the DLC is free. Like, this this is kind of... Kind of super neat in a time where it's going to get less and less neat. Flame Whiplash gives me bonus runic attack stuff. We'll start with that. I do like that move. It's super useful. Assuming everything else works out. And the DLC is easily like 25 bucks. Yeah. I would not have been disappointed to play uh, to pay 25 for this. God, I feel anemic at the beginning of the game, but I guess that makes sense. Yeah, It's funny. There's no guarantee that I can beat this, even with the, the stuff that I want to have. I kind of just always want to have the stuff I want to have, you know? I like Tame the Beast. It's a fun one. Should be alright for runic abilities, at least somewhat, right? What's the worst media that came out this year? Oh. Alright, contenders would be... Well, they're all the ones I mentioned, right? But the only ones I didn't mention probably Secret Invasion. That would be definitely one. Guys, Secret Invasion was so bad. Alan Wake 2 was pretty damn bad, that's true. Why did you decide to use that penalty glyph? Because that's the hardest thing you can do in the game. Oh... I don't want to re-roll, but I kind of have to. Spinning case? No. Blades burn. A little bit extra. <coughs> He's using old skin with armor? Yes, I am classic Kratos with Zeus's special armor. Quite special, don't you think? Down, 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 down. Going to give yourself an affliction, brother. Flame Whiplash gives a Burn Shock Wave. Nope. Yeah, we'll go with that. So that's Poison will be inflicted when I block an attack for two encounters. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Thank you for this. Still need that Triangle Boost. Oh, an Immolation Bonus. Ooh. Fuck it. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Runic? Yeah, we'll do Runic. 
I've been running classic Kratos with Ares. I was doing Ares, and then I switched to uh, Zeus for the funsies. Is there a reason why you have more poise than fucking God? Get out of here. That's weird. He called for that before it even happened. Which, I mean, you know, more of that in future. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? Hello? I just ignore my fucking grab, yo. Ridiculous. Okay, what? They just. They just died anyway. I could have just walked off and they would have dead. They would have deaded themselves. Absurd. Ridiculous. No, no, no. Top five games of 2023. The Walking Dead Destiny? I don't even know what that is. Forspoken Rise of Kong, Day Before, and Gollum. Gollum is incredible, okay. Would be great if you guys had Snarky J on open bar. I'm not 100% sure of who that is, but alright. Also, we got my two runic attacks. That's nice. And remember, we got the runic bonus, so... Does that mean this could be a good un? Don't know. What I do know is because I spent... my flames, I really want there to be nothing good to buy in here. Nope. Nope. Okay, good. Thank goodness. Um, they will head down here. The Dead Space remake was that this year? Hard to keep track, you know. So much going on. Uh, Republic Commando's main menu theme is very cool and nicely distinct for a piece a piece of music in the Star Wars canon. Fair enough. You won't believe this, but Filoni. I did a very lame job of portraying the commandos in Bad Batch. Boo. Well, I haven't really heard much on how good or not good Bad Batch is. I don't know how many people have actually watched it or are watching it. I assume some of you folks in chat give it a little watch through. Perhaparinos. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Come on, then. Well, <laughs> bit embarrassing, isn't it? That round went a lot better than I thought it might have. Oh, wait, what's the burden again? We got the burden shockwave is in now, too. Sweet. Has Mola faced tier after the Mayan War Club yet, or is it that it's hopes for this run? I have beaten tier like 20 times. <laughs> this is trying to beat him on the hardest of difficulties. Charge up faster when the status afflicted is a good one. Try and use it. Look up Heart Attack Cafe. I know about a heart attack um, restaurant or whatever, where if you weigh over, is it 300 pounds, you have to eat for free. I think, um... Has Boogie ever done a video on that? I don't know. Bad Batch Season 1 is mid, like 80% filler episodes. Season 2 is a tad better, like two notable episodes, but it definitely feels like the same show if you catch my meaning. Aye, fair, fair. I'll go with defense on that one. The bullying people to buy Black Friday merch only plays thumbnail is funny. Considering his thumbnails are always funny, I'm willing to agree with you. Okay, what have we got? Nope. 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 We shall save. What's the future? Alright, I feel like we've been lucking out too much lately with bosses, so I assume the one in this run is going to be one that I lose to. It's been a while since we've lost to the mid-boss. So, you know. It's only a matter of time, folks.
can force him out of the ground. Good. Anyone else? Watch your left. Oh. oh, two LV people. Take ball of light, coming your way. It's time to forget what upgrades I have. Judging from the damage, the flame whiplash is still pretty solid. We're waiting for the triangle upgrade on that. But will I ever get it? Who knows. Yeah, I'm feeling a little too comfortable right now. I think the boss is going to mess me up and give me a big old sad face. So projectiles or trigger a realm shift. We'll get the realm shift one. They've been put off the projectiles one for some reason. I was thinking, even if the projectile might miss, it might What's trigger the deflection, which is not there. at all what I want, you know? Something else has spawned. Eh. Else is in you. Oh. Fuck off. I think these things can give him health, by the way. Oh, lucky that got sorted out before it got painful. Wait, what? Come on, game. I don't like how little rage I have. It's awful. Increase the damage of rink attacks when emulation is full. We'll go with the stats. I wish the stats were always there as an option, because... At least I could feel like we could continue the run somewhat, you know? I'm Michael Douglas. I'm gay. Alright. Randy Marsh throughout Avatar 2 sucked. What? <laughs> Was Randy Marsh in Avatar 2? It was uh, lost on me as a potential thing that happened in there, but you know what? I'm not against it. We could buy some rage, but again, we kind of need that in case of tear, so... Can't do that yet. Uh, I'm not too excited about this build right now, but... Gotta try, right guys? Gotta try. Do you think TLJ stands will ever admit it ruined the franchise? Level hated it did start the downward spiral of Star Wars and Disney cannot fix it. What they would tell you, if they ever said yes, is that a mature film that told an amazing story was rejected by childish fans and that split the fan base because you have people who are there to be told stories and people who are there to be reaffirmed on lightsaber go brr. Like, that's probably how they would phrase it. But they can't deny it destroyed the fan base. Well, thoughts on David Jaffe saying they made Kratos too soft in the new games. I guess he hasn't played it. That's the only conclusion I can come to when people say stuff like that. Just go watch the Heimdall scene. You'll be alright. You'll make it. Then again, just go watch any of the game. <laughs> like that, that, might, uh, that might give it away. You're afraid of being challenged, yeah. Oh, it's a Wolver. Blaton. I, I hit roll, but fuck you, I guess. Okay, start. Moving to the side stops my relics, you little... Uh oh I mean, not having the light runic was fucking crazy in the previous run. But we're getting there now. Though I have low confidence on this one still. 
really going to depend on a couple of other things going right. David Jaffe said that Kratos would care about family after the Greek pantheon he killed, but he's literally shown to have sympathy to individuals throughout the OG series. Laugh my ass off. Yeah, and this game actually incorporates that as well. I thought everyone knew that Kratos actually cared about people and things in the original three. I feel like the fans, quote-unquote, of that are starting to make it sound worse than it actually is. You know? Make him play the Valhalla DLC. Maybe then they'll chill out. Well, I can't say that would be a thing for sure. Uh, love you, chat. Oh, that's nice. Hey, Moopa, Frongo, Ragu, so happy you're talking Soma. Any plans to cover the bunker? Love you guys. Um, other than the stream I did, probably not, but it was a neat game. I can hopefully convince Fringy and Rags to play it next Halloween. That'd be the fun, fun flim flam. Had Soma in the Steam library for a while now, so now is as good a time as ever to indulge in good rat. Excellent choice. Thoughts on Monsters, Inc. sequel series Monsters at Work? I don't think I've ever uh, done anything with that. Was a TV show, is it? Or? I saw Monsters University. I remember liking it. Other than that, I don't know. Don't rightly know. <laughs> Any idea why theory or theory why movie Blob is a psycho d bag? Um, I think he had the standard sort of like his interest and desires to talk about media and enjoy it was hampered <clears throat> by a lot of people in like school and stuff that would have been dicks to him. He's talked about it. He's written about it. Surprise, you hulking brute. Oh, hey, Helios. Uh, it's, it's It turned him into, like, the most horrible... He's basically Syndrome, but without the power. Greater takes reduced damage. No. That one's okay, but I guess we'll get the, um, the upgrades. Um, One of each should do it. Oh. Hmm. Oh, we'll do both of them. That was tempting, though. I'd like to note most of Jaffe's work was on the first game. Yeah, a lot of people give him more credit than he should get for, like, his influence across all of God of War. A lot of changes have happened, even from just the OG trilogy. Best movie of the year, Mola? My favorite was The Killer. And the more days go on, the more I'm tempted to make a video on it, because apparently a lot of people thought it was supposed to be like John Wick, which is a little bit confusing. But it happens. Uh, speaking of spooky games, you Dumbo's hit of Lethal Company. Of course you have. It'd be cool to see you three and Moodle play it. Oh, and DDLC too. I've heard of it, for sure. I just, um, I don't know. Is it still... The game of the year, game of the week, game of the month, game of the flavor, flavor of the fleam. I don't know. I assume it's still is. Now this is pod racing. Somewhat. I can die. I struggle to understand some of these guys. They just resist death. Rust of a thousand soldiers or dodge rolling will hasten. Oh, I'll go there. I don't even know if at this point it would be a good thing or a bad thing if I had full runics. Incoming charge! Why is it always this one? In Greenman giving her health. And the Redman. Okay, see, I think it's the relics that were the key to this one. Because that was way easier. Especially if I upgrade him. 
Uh, Vindelsvar's Windstorm. I quite like that one, but... Uh, we'll take it. That one's really good for AoE. Grab you as well. I'm in a bit of a better mood with this run, even though I haven't got a lot of the bonuses I'd like. I don't know. Could it be the runic abilities? Perhaps. Yes, I did just leave that health there. I'm gonna grab it on the way back this time. I think the cooldowns are really short on these as well, which is another reason why I'm liking them. Come on, mate. Just die. It's in the ground. Yeah. From behind, incoming. I'm trying, Helios. Guy's always the one that's difficult. Oh, there's that move again, my favorite. He interrupted the charge up. But the runics had got him. That was tough, but. Oh, they gave me this. I'm gonna reroll. Relic charge. Oh, what a reroll! Legendary. That's the one I need. Oh, could this be the run? Probably not, but could this be the run? Have you watched Clone Wars 2003 yet? If not, you should just watch the whole series before Stargrift is just over two hours in total runtime. Also, hi. Well, we say we do it episode by episode, right? Get a bit of an in-depth look as we go. I still haven't watched the first two yet, which... I need to figure out how I'm gonna watch them, but... Uh, I'll get there. Don't you worry. <laughs> Give me my runic moves back. Here we go. Break the tether quickly. Fuck off. What the hell are they following me for? Strength and defense, yeah. I've got the build I need. But there's still pieces of it I'd like. But at this point, it's just like... You get what you can, you know? An episode is like 12 minutes. That's what I hear. Oh my god, the fucking noises then. Off with his head, I suppose. Dude, that defense stat is climbing. Okay, what's going on? Oh. I was on Show Me Prowess the whole time. <laughs> well, may as well uh, show you guys what happens if I actually complete it. No wonder I felt like I was doing good. I had a feeling something was wrong when the timer was this high up. Watching you think? I love how none of you warned me of this. It's all your fault. Try the Nine Realms, why not?
I mean, it's still hard on hard mode. I didn't know. Okay. All right. EFAP finally discussed as a series that needs more episodes. Hoping for The Witcher games and Cyberpunk 2077 Edge Runners in the future. Soma is amazing. Well, but like Soma's one that got finally because like me and Rags have wanted to talk about it for a while. And Fringy finally got in. Oh, it was on purpose because you're reading Super Chats? No, it's not. When, when? How did you. What? That doesn't make any sense. I was I said from the beginning. All I'm trying to do is beat this on the uh, Chungo difficulty, which involves going on Chungo difficulty. I asked so long ago, were you on Mastery? Well, it's too late. I'm doing great this time. Oh. But like I said, things felt too easy. And that's going to be the future of gaming, fellas, when they uh, introduce difficulties that make things easier without telling you to the point of ridiculousness. I mean, it, you know, like I said, it should count for something that this is mastery mode. Yeah, my defense stat is, like, ranking. Right? You guys are proud of me for getting this far on, on this mode. I'm sure you are. Each episode is two to three minutes in season one. That's why you should just watch the full season at least. But honestly, season two is where most of the story happens. Interesting. They're released in volumes, right, or something? See, Mamiya, Helios warned me. You didn't warn me back in that other playthrough. Why? Do you hate me? Is that it? Be honest, Mamiya. Lies go to hell. I'm not a fan of games getting easier if you're doing bad. That's how you get better at the game. Exactly. If it's optional, then sure, but like, oof. There's a special place in hell for making it easier because I'm doing bad. <laughs> what the hell? Healing itself? I think Mr. Kratos got confused for a moment there. <laughs> Just gonna crank the stats, you know? Why not? Call a stat build. A game you would love, Mauler, if you love Soma, is Stas Stasis Bone Totem. I can't mention anything. It seems to go really deep into the same subject. Alright. Rage Burst on a kill. Eh. Sure. I do feel a little bit rageless. Next area is just a spam of enemies, so it should work out. ba da ba da ba do do I don't even remember where I lost my axe there, but alright. Those count as an individual hit. Good 
feel like I'm owed uh, more relics, you know? Oh, come on. Sure are. I love that. Just fired explosions all over the place, then some randy just jumps through like, I gotcha. I got the god. Takes the pizzazz out knowing I'm not on the hardest difficulty, doesn't it? It's like, it's good, but it could be better. Also, defense, look at you go. I feel like at this point, if something hits me, I should just be like a stone wall. Thank you for playing Sekiro. Favorite mechanic? Um, I don't know. I guess that's the general approach to the fighting. Like, I like a lot of how it all works together. Not anything necessarily in specific. In specificity. Come on. I'm gonna light you boys up. Oh, I think I killed him too fast. <laughs> I came to cages with that one. Now I'm staying in phase one forever. Just everything is going much better now. Which makes me sad. This will be the last one before I get to go back to tier. Dude, the jump from this difficulty to the next one is insane. Alright. It's a shame Boogie got banned on Twitch. Being naked on Twitch was the only thing that brought him joy in life. You know? I think that's true. I think your aunt is something there. Uh, we could probably try and take on this dude. You guys would be surprised. You get to fight one of the um, spooky skeleton. Ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba. In the forum. Yeah, I'll go the feared. All right, bro, calm down. Nobody likes you. Time you admitted it to yourself. Jesus. Oh, you think you're gonna hide over there? That's cute. Oh my god. Guys, I think he's dead.
Be honest, how much trouble would Fringy be in if he had finished Soma? He shat all over it. It's okay if he did that. I'd accept him for who he is. Because I'm a nice man. Should always be a nice man if you have the chance. Mola, what are your thoughts on Alan Wake 2 winning best art direction, best narrative, and best game direction at the Game Awards? Um, art direction, maybe. I'd have to see more of it to decide. Best narrative is a joke. It's one of the fucking... The five hours that I played was so ho horribly written it like made me want to die. And then game direction? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, again, I'm not exactly sure how they judge best game direction. Does that... Shouldn't that just be best game? Wouldn't the best game of the best game direction? I don't know. Minecraft story mode and bridal praise when, Moobly? Probably not ever, but who knows? A game you would love. Wait, I read that. I do enjoy the question Soma asks of what makes you human. I mean. Crisis aside, would you consider yourself human as just a downloaded consciousness? I'd be willing to accept that the definition of human involves the body. I would be some other species, but I'd still be a person from my own definition, or at least how I would be want to be considered. I should have rights, you know what I mean? I'll grab this as well. Alright, um, honestly... This should be okay in terms of, like, killing tier on this difficulty, even with the hamperment thing. Like, we're gonna have melty health, but this should be alright. It might actually be a financial loss. It deserves to have a financial loss. I only too. Alright. How you doing, tier? Let's get this charged up. Wait, what? That looked strange. Wait, what the hell? Something really weird was going on for a second there. I'm not sure how to explain it either. He still got his spooky red health. Let me guess, by the way. I think now the game's gonna give me shit tons more relics when I would have really wanted it in the previous playthrough. Well, the previous time I got here, anyway. He's trying to escape. Get the lady! Oh, Tia, can you fuck off just for five seconds, man? Yeah. Thanks, bro. Oh, right, that's not him yet. Not many. It's really weird having a red health bar. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, that seemed a little lame. Usually it locks him in when you do the... <clears throat> Left one's shiny. Look at the relic refreshes. It's so much better. Great 
Kratos, I yield. Not quite the same as getting him on the hardest difficulty, eh? Hey, it's only three o'clock, so another four hours till you fap. <laughs> You're too strong for me. Joseph be like, existential well. horror, I sleep. Jump scares, real shit. Yeah. Here is a cool boss. Such a cool boss. He is indeed. He's awesome. Uh, probably have done this before, but Souls game... Uh, Soulsborne game rankings. So, my personal favorites go Sekiro, Dark Souls 1, and Bloodborne are all locked in at the top. Then, I assume Dark Souls 3, then 2... Demon Souls I haven't played. They um that's my favorites list. In terms of what I think are best to worst, it'd be Sekiro, then Dark Souls 3, then Dark Souls 1, then Dark Souls 2. Bloodborne would be put at around Dark Souls 1 somewhere. Um so, you know. Hopefully that answers your question. Soma has my favorite sci-fi story in any of media. It's one of my favorite stories. Straight up. Yes, I agree on the sci-fi side as well. Some help. I'd take it. Hey, I'd take it too. Chances of getting the Sphere Hunter on EFAP. Maybe. Who knows? I'm not entirely sure of who that is. Alright, we got the correct things this time. You forgot Elden Ring. Oh, so Elden Ring for, like, how well made, probably around about, is like jamming with Dark Souls 3. Like, I consider it to be, like, the open-world Dark Souls 3. I feel like they're pretty consistently designed, both of them. Um, and then favorites, Elden Ring, would be below Dark Souls 3 in my list. But above Dark Souls 2, of course. Oh, to be back in the harder difficulty, eh? That move's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Chances of getting oh wait, I read that, sorry. Um nope. Drop near's whale. Uh I don't think I can do We'll try and do a spear run, why not? I think you guys are gonna Get excited by the potential of one. It's not gonna go well, I'm telling you now. The drop near whale just got boosted. Joseph Anderson deserves to be the original massive. Well, he is. He achieved it despite all probability. Well, that's that. If I had a nickel for every time the phrase, Oh, Captain, my Captain, was said in a movie released in 2023, I would have two nickels. I can't remember the other time it was done. Ah, Zvindelsvar's Windstorm. A great runic ability. An excellent one, if, if I don't mind seeing. This is a straight-as-an-arrow actor, Michael Douglas, planning on doing your British duty and play Rogue Trader. Rogue Trader? I'm not sure what that one is. Which burden is worth the reward, do you think? Let's have a look. Oh, it's the Relic Charge one. Okay. Okay, game. I see what you're doing. I see what you're... You're like, oh, oh, you don't, you don't want to play this one with the spear. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the Relic Recharge is just over there. I'm just saying. It's just, uh, just so you know. Like, hmm. Right, don't need any of them. Not ready, not even a little bit. I don't believe in this run, but it would be funny if we actually did a spear run and was victorious. Look at that diff... You see how it says one for strength, one for defense, even though the defense is clearly a bigger chunk of green, and then you go to double. That's more than double. You know what I mean? These, these stats... They're dirty liars. You know what I mean? Ridiculous. Stupid. The kind of thing that gives me rage induced flamery. Oh, here we go. Use a shield strike 
Will you fuck off? What are you doing, game? You can't ever just hit me four times and I can't do anything about it. That's cringe. Everybody will call you cringe if you do that. Is that what you want? Good god. So many assholes. Is there a reason why you're all taking zero damage? Oh right, because I'm on the hardest difficulty. How dare I forget. Jesus Christ. Did you see how fast he did that? Take a bite of my health, huh? What? How did... No, not with the million attacks. Did you just set me on fire? Oh my god. What the hell? This is like my second encounter. This is even my first encounter, technically, right? Because the first ones are shitty ones. God, I was not expecting that to be that difficult. I guess I gotta get back in the groove of uh, master difficulty. But thanks. It's not like I desperately need that resurrection stone or anything. It's fine. Uh, which one's which? Yeah, we'll take that one. I'm still kind of hoping that one would proc the relic, but I don't actually know if it does. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird it happened in both the Marvels and Transformers 7. Oh, oh, Captain, my Captain is from Transformers 7 as well. Favorite boss in DS1? Artorius and Ornstein and Smoke. Boom, boom, boom. My ideal choice for the dive suit dilemma would be to leave a sticky note explaining shit and a little smiley face and he can decide to drain his own battery. Yeah, that's true. God, that would be... That would be rough to wake up to, huh? Rather sad. Boo, Artorias, but they're my second. I see. Um, I guess we'll go... Health increase. I was gonna give up, and then I thought, oh, we do have the relic bonus coming, so... I should probably at least try. But I tell you, it's tempting to give up. I like the Four Kings. Fair enough. I don't blame you for having that opinion. Raiders' is triangle does strength runic luck, or activating rage when the rage meter is full increases all damage done for a short duration. Interesting. We'll go with the triangle, because I'll be using that a lot. I told my friend to play Soma for Halloween this year, and it created possibly the best video series we've done so far. Thanks, Mola, for recommendation. Visage on YouTube. That's V-Y-S-A-G-E. If anyone cares, hi, Rags. Smiley face. He would say hi back. I really like Bed of Chaos. Oh, you little troll. How dare you. Health burst on any successful runic attack kill. I suppose we can throw that in. Be nice if I got the kill uh, benefit health for the uh, spear. But maybe that'll be a matter of getting rather lucky. Fucking excellent. Yep. Watch your left. Why did you want to make this challenge? I'm going to die to these gremlins. Ugh. The wee bastard's about to explode! Never make me do that again, game. Come on, be nice. Increased under airborne, melee attacks have a low luck chance to restore some cooldown. Eh. See, these are all things that I don't even think match my build very much, but that... I'll give it all a shot. I'm gonna play it through. I feel like the game will judge me if I don't. 
Crispy critters, I can't be watching this yet. I need to play this masterpiece myself. I look forward to it. Stay rags. Hi long. Very well. We have a lot of episodes like that where people are like, can't watch again. Like, I don't know, I guess it's good that YouTube allows you to watch whatever you want. That is afflicted, yes, we can go with that. I feel like this run is built of just random shit at this point. Kind of waiting for stuff to buy that adds to this, but I'm not having much luck in that department. Get a stat upgrade, though. More than freaking, have you seen the OVAs for One Punch Man? If yes, thoughts? If not, you should watch them. They are on par with Season 1. I have not seen those. Wait, is my health just going to regen now that I've spent that? Hmm, maybe not. Strength or strength and luck? Double strength. Oh, it did regen. Hmm. Interesting. So, runic ability or weapon upgrade will go. Weapon. Oh, bopper. Oh, great. He's immune to my spears. game is just like, you're on perpetually low health, by the way. Man, these do nothing to him. I need the elemental uh, bonus. Which, without, by the way, makes this whole run pointless. But, I mean, the game might consider giving it to me at some point. I saw a video about Diablo 4, and in it the guy said the words, Objectively better in my opinion, and it made me so upset that my brain nearly imploded. Yep, that'll do that. This is better beyond my opinion, in my opinion. <laughs> like, wait, what? Oh, next spear is an elemental siphon. Yeah. Thanks, game. I guess. Uh, I feel like whenever they give me something good, they're gonna give me something horrible. What, brother? I see the one you need to get, there! A precision, bitch. Oh my god. Oh, hello. Okay, wait. My damage seems really good now. I knew you'd get that one. Hmm. Maybe maybe the bird takes increased damage from spear or something. I don't know. Health burst on any spear kill. There we go. Does it does it give you health if it's based on the spear's runic attacks as well? Probably not. What is that thumbnail? It's the best thumbnail. Excellent. The way and denying it would cause you. Crembo Bagesque. It's an uh, ancient disease that'll make it so that you uh, you go outside instead of watching YouTube. You wouldn't want that. We don't need them, don't need them. I think we looked at these already. How much have I got? 538. I suppose I can spend it on um, beer upgrade. Hopefully the other ones in uh, Helheim, I think, will be worthwhile. We shall find out. Why Frost Spears feel OP? It's because they kind of are. Jesus. This fucker is annoying because he has like a million health. And what feel like infinite combos. Thanks for that. 
Oh, my things aren't even up. What? Come on! Yeah, I don't think you want to have a ranged fight with me, pal. Jesus Christ. I hit Rage! Hello? Fucking wake up, game. I'll be dealing with your old man shit. Okay, and that was uh, pretty goofbally as well. <laughs> oh my god. He doesn't have any health, you cunt of a game. What the hell? Uh, fuck you. If you didn't want me to play that one, you could have just said it with a tooltip. You didn't need to pretend like it killed me. The hell was that? That was uh, three instances of some weird shit happening in that fight. No shame there. Uh, whatever. We'll go back to blades. I assume. Spear runs. Am I right? Give the playing field just a little tilt, eh? Yeah, tilt in the opposite direction, Mamiya. That's what I'm buying. The opposite of survival. It's ridiculous. He runs funny. Who me or the the spooky manster? Um. Crispy Critters. I can't be watching this yet. I still need to play this masterpiece. Oh, I read that one. More and Fringy, have you seen the OVAs? Nope, read that one. Y'all should check out the animated show Pantheon. I'm not familiar. Don't know what that is, but fair enough. The Killer or Godzilla Minus One Fap Next would be neat. I'll have to see Godzilla Minus One. It's not impossible. Come on, lads, get stuck in. Don't be afraid. Apparently, it's so controversial that the French want to ban it from schools. Damn. Well, I'll be. Low luck chance to get a rage burst from any blade kill. Hmm. And start with it. No, we'll probably quit this run if we go like five editions and none of it's useful. Have you seen Napoleon? I have been thoroughly put off seeing Napoleon. Napoleon, sorry. Everybody's basically said that you should avoid it. Um, and then I've seen like several videos from people saying it's the worst kind of biopic. In terms of just bit of misrepresentation, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know. I guess I've been put off. You could say that. Meow, meow. So, this would be the ones for the EFAP Zero. That was released on good old Moolah. IFAP, it's good to see the whole gang here today. They've been a fan since before there was an EFAP, back when Wolf did react content on furry music videos. Anyway, let's see, I was even before even I knew. Oh! Triangle attacks up. We do like Master at Arms, so... That'll be a good one. Anyways, hope y'all are well. Keep up the good work and Merry Crimbo. Merry Christmas to you too. No. Nope. Nope. Eh, we like that one. Decrease healing from health. Oh, God. That one punished me last time. At least I have both runic moves. And I like both of my runic moves. That's always nice. We're we'll still need to get the runic move synergizer. He's talking about the clip that was in the intro of the Dishonored podcast. I mean, there's a lot of them, all right? I could. Ooh. Okay. Game is uh, tickling, tickling me a little bit. All right. I'm not gonna say no. Need these more than runic. Let's go. 
Oh, it's this place. Oh, lads. It's not looking good for the elves. I think they died. Wow, that got him. Take your sweet ass time. It's not like my health is melting away. the little bastard. Yeah, there he is. Oh, come on. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, just another five encounters to clear. Burn shockwave or luck to cool... Cool down. We're gonna want cooldown. That's actually a very important aspect to this build as well. Is the Bilbo Baggins origin? Is this the uh, Bilbo Baggins origin? <coughs> it's a tonal video. I can't remember which one though. Um, that was not so bad. Yeah, go on. And go go for the stat stat upgrade, maybe. Oh, we got one here anyway. Hmm. That's forty health down the shitter. Defense and cooldown, baby. All right, rags. You have a terrible take on Doom Eternal. It has the best combat loop I've played. You just didn't understand it. Didn't even finish it. I have nine hundred hours. Please watch some high level play. Um, I don't know anything about Doom Eternal. I'm afraid can't help you there. Hi, Wolf. You'd appreciate that, I'm sure. Oh gosh, I just realized I'm like staring into the abyss here. Probably keep moving. I like how I haven't caught up on these super chats in four hours, by the way. Oh dearie me. We're getting there though. Uh, Doom Eternal and its DLCs explain heaven, hell, Satan, and God. Oh. Law accurate Doom Slayer video. Yeah, I remember we were covering like a Doom video to do with hell, right? Someone was talking about hell and Doom or something. Oh, stats or... Oh, um... Ooh, tempting. Tempting. I think we're gonna go with stats, though. I think I checked the shop there, didn't I? Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Hmm. Alright. I feel like they, they kind of snatched that hit on me there. I didn't deserve it though. Do I stagger? Can you guys stagger more? I'd like that. Yes, both of you disappear into the ether, please. Well, that cooldown would be nice, but we're going to have to go with strength and defense. I beat all Doom Eternal Ultra Nightmare challenges. Good for you. Nice work. <coughs> A big lizard go boom. See it? Also high rags. Again, he would very much appreciate that. Uh, let's get the health. Shout out to Dizzy, Harvey Dent, Kuro, Semantic Dragon, Swolepool, Ozzy, Lucrexis, Lucrexis, Gracie, Captain Martin, and others for reading through Shad's book in the Discord. It's shit, by the way, with no, with near no redeeming qualities. A fun read. Damn. Some harsh criticisms. I have not read his book, but I've uh, heard lots of praise and apparently lots of criticisms as well. Made you look. You made me look again, you b 
bastard. Everyone forgets the major letdown of this trilogy. There's no final kill count between Gimli and Legolas, even on the extended. True. That's terrible. Also, we are onto the Lord of the Rings one. So as you can see, we're catching up to the present day. And once we're done with them, I probably will end streams. So it'd be nice to have at least an hour so I can eat something before the next Strizzleheim. I think you guys are going to like the stream today. I have a distinct feeling. I won't need that one. Just saw your thumbnail, what a classic. I know, it's beautiful. Boom, boom. It'll be uploading this on Moolah as well, by the way, as its own video, because you guys are going to want to know that the Super Chats were answered, I'd imagine. I will title it appropriately. Uh, no, no. Oh, maybe... When you say massive damage game, can I trust that? I don't think I can. Problem is, I just don't believe you. See, I think rags would blow a gasket playing this game with the amount of times they say, like, this thing will improve in a way. And it's like, what does that mean? What the hell does that mean? Oh, not this map. Ugh. You're gonna drain all my health. Oh, good. See, I feel if I'm doing a fire runic move, it should undo the freeze immediately. Wow. Am I dead? I can't get him because of the rage monster. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I'm spending a rage on you, pal. What the fuck was that? Yeah, hey, bud. Alright, give me my health back, game. Yeah, stole it. That is ridiculous. So it begins. Wolf! Saga of Lockballs. LFG. Hi, Wolf. Glad to see you again. Also, hi, Ragu. Yeah. Aragorn should have fist fought Sauron on top of a train. They also should have been shirtless. Exactly. That would have made it way better. My first time donating this series is the whole reason why I love the fantasy genre movies. Still hold up. Still good. I love you guys. Oh, they hyper hold up. They are holding strong, you might even say. Well, this room went to hell. Yeah, a little bit. Say goodbye to my health. Still, increase in burn damage, that's always nice. You guys still have confidence that I can win this, right? Right? Now, where is the big bad? There's always a Chungus. Well, that's just a small Chungus. Why the fuck? Yeah, get eaten by the fire. Whoa! Oh, Kratos. No, go around the... Uh, sometimes I wonder about you, Kratos. These guys are looking a little tougher than usual. All right, heal up. Got him. Count it, Valhalla. Yeah. My first time donating. Oh, wait, I read that one. Drinks at the Green Dragon or the Prancing Pony? Whichever one's in Rohan. I forget which is which. Cheers, gentlemen. I'm so stoked to be celebrating Lord of the Rings with fellow fans 20 years later. 
Hell yeah. Unless the Green Dragon and Prancing Pony are Bree and Shire, in which case, the Shire one. There you go. Thanks for the fun commentary and fun trivia. Yeah, thought you guys would like it. GM Gents, celebrating the best trilogy in history. Absolutely. Thank you for doing this. Happy holidays, y'all. No problem. Peak fire, but unironically. Oh yeah, Lord of the Rings is absolutely peak fire. The peakest of fire. Bree and Shire. Green Dragon Shire. Gotcha. Okay, I guess it's boss time. I do have two resurrection stones and two relics, so it's not over, guys. Guys, guys, it's not over. Guys! You keep saying it's over! One successful run. It's possible. It's not impossible. In theory. Still haven't gotten. Yeah, four out of six. And what does this give me? Better damage when 50% or lower. Ugh. Absolutely terrible. Oh, why is it this fucker? Oh, what a good start. Jesus. Cool, that's just like all missed. Really? Oh well, I'm sure we can do better than that. Yeah, we can't resurrect because of the fucking challenge. Cool, I slipped on his vomit. It's awesome. Why did they make me fight him twice? Do they just keep him now? You have a heart attack? Nope. Slipped on his vomit like a banana peel. That's what happens. Well, that was demanding. Carry on. The Muppet is the worst, yeah. Oh, jeez. Vomit slip is a classic. It is. Merry Christmas, lads. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. No problem. At the start of the council, the Legolas and Gimli are randos, but by the end of the same scene, you have my bow manages to be hype as fuck. Amazing how smooth it is. Yep, you learn them really quickly. And you're not wrong, they come in being absolute nobodies. The only way I think I could have beaten him is if we had, like, full rage and just went... Maybe full health, that might have been the only thing. Obviously, if I had my resurrections, I might have beaten him too, but... Asking a bit much at that point, isn't it? I was kind of excited when I heard he was Gimli, son of Gloin, because I'd read The Hobbit. Ah. Beautiful. Spinning chaos. Oh, it looks like we're doing a spear run then. Boosting the spear throws. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, uh, can't believe it's been 20 years on EFAP, what the fuck, time goes by quickly. Now that Fallout show is coming out, it's time to play all the Fallout games out there, Mole. I assume you're joking about the 20 year anniversary for EFAP, you, you, you know we haven't been going for that long, right? It's, I assume you do, I don't know. Uh, Mountain Splitter is pretty good. I love the battles in this trilogy, I also like how the movies establish the importance of defenses like choke points, gates and walls, etc. Yeah, you'd, you'd appreciate that being in more stuff, but... They just kind of aren't. Also, that's two ranged upgrades. Yeah, that's not bad for a run so far. Ba -doom boom ba -doom boom ba -doom boom 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 We want the elemental bonus. Seem worth the risk? And that's it. Bifrost will be inflicted on Kratos when killing enemies. Ugh. 
We are on everything's correct, isn't it? Yeah. Three encounters, boys. I've got to kill stuff and then avoid getting hit after it, centrally. Here we got. Hold L1 for several seconds to charge it. Oh no, it's not going to be useful. Um, realm shift on. Yeah, we can get that. 40 years of EFAP. Can you believe it? I know. Just been going for so long. Um. And also show the enemy finding ways to counter them. Trolls, battering rams, ladders, siege towers, Saruman's fucking IED. <laughs> yeah. Uh, incredible editing, lads. Absolutely loving this video. Off to watch the trilogy after this. You are all quite an inspiration. They did it okay the way that they did it. Agreed. And thank you so much for checking it out. What are my relics doing? We are missing one. Fun fact, Frodo's coven, cousin Zack Baggins is a famous ghost hunter. I'm aware of that. A real life ghost hunter. Centennial EFAP when? Tomorrow, I'm sure. Gandalf, took you dumbass, kill yourself, retard. Oh, Took. Excellent work, EFAP. Thank you and Merry Christmas. No problem. Missed your voice, Wolf. Don't be a stranger. He's got a wonderful voice. I agree. Alright, we're going in the relic door. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, God. I'm very alert. Why would you assume anything different? Zvindelsvar's Windstorm. Got level ones for both of them, I think, which sucks, but that's, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Neat detail is Theoden's wary look at Gandalf's hand on the arm of his throne while offering advice. Probably a common gesture of Grima's. Yeah, probably. Breath of Thamur. That's actually a good one to have just on backup. It's a lot of damag. This is fantastic. Thanks, Muller and Gang. Yeah, thank you for uh, letting us know your thoughts. We took a while on it. We really did. Uh. Oh right. Okay. Nope. No. No, I don't want any of these. Then we won't cripple ourselves. How about that? <coughs> but I will have a look see in the shop. Nope. 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 Hmm. It's all cooldown for runic attacks. I don't really do much melee though. Charge successful spear attacks. That was like a maybe as well. Uh, I think we'll save the space. Stat or weapon? Weapon. Everybody pony up some cash. You're listening to Elvish. That's extra. Again. Yeah, I know. This has been rather confusing, honestly. Enjoy that for a bit. Both of these suck. Oh, that one's perfect. Thank you. Actually, both of these are good, but we'll go with this one. 
We got three ranged attack buffs now, I think. Or at least two of them, and then one of them's on the triangle, so, you know. Just watched Lord of the Rings Extended Edition with my aunt. There's no Star Wars prequels, but they're pretty good. Oh, they are no Star Wars prequels, pretty good. I also saw Godzilla Minus One, it was great. Coverage soon. Perhaps. No promises on that one, because we got a lot of stuff to do. Unfortunately. Um, best trilogy ever. Thanks for all your hard work, EFAP. You're very much appreciated. Thank you very much yourself. You guys can EFAP movie Lord of the Rings as many times as you like. I have no idea how many times I've rewatched the old ones. Well, you got the new set now. I think I made a joke about like how in four years' time we can make a new set again. I think it would be rather amusing. Nope, nope. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really like any of them. Pop in to get that. Did I get the chest in this area? Grab a stat upgrade, eh? Gun to your head, Star Wars prequels or Hobbit trilogy? Which were like... Which is better? I'm not sure, I'd have to rewatch the Hobbit ones. I haven't watched them in forever. I remember thinking the third one was particularly bad. Uh, do, 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 do. The first dudes you can fight in Demon Souls have the same metal riveted sheets on their heads. I see. George R. Martin. Tolkien is right up there at the top. I yield to no one in my admiration for The Lord of the Rings. I reread it every few years. It's one of the great books of the 20th century. Stop lying. W what do you mean? Did somebody say that George hasn't read Lord of the Rings? Because I'm pretty sure I said that um, I don't think uh, I don't think he dislikes Lord of the Rings at all. He just uh, wanted to know what would happen to Aragorn's kingdom. Bum, 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 bum. Shrug, need context, I guess. Everyone said George hated it. Hated Lord of the Rings? I could have sworn I would have corrected that if I were there, like, listening to it. Also, that's not lying, you dumb fuck. That's an opinion. <laughs> like, they, they believe it, or slash more than one person would believe it, based on other things. Whoop. I've always found it an interesting question to know what Aragorn would do once things move on. Okay, how is that doing so little? Ah. Oh, that actually counted. Oh yeah, George is currently in very bad standing with a lot of people. So. It is not a surprise at all. At last we're rid of that little cuss. He kicked the shit out of the Haradrim and re-established Harondor, according to the letters from Tolkien. Neat. You probably went on to fight Sauron on top of the train while shirtless. Yeah, yeah. Um, marinated in Isengard dew. Well, you say it like you wouldn't want to try it. Isengard dew? I mean, a little bit. Also, that's the full build. Or at least the important parts of it. And we've got the elemental thing going, too. My god, guys. The dream. Magni calling it? I don't want it to be Magni. Oh, Jesus. Really? None of them gave me the fucking benefit? Okay, game. Oh, come on! Lose the bullshit shield! Really? No. 
Enough with your Bifrost bullshit. I do like that, it's fun. Thank you, Valhalla. Love being able to listen to you masters ramble on. You're directly responsible for me restocking my physical media library. Keep up the great work. More people should definitely do that. While you still can. Thanks, Mola. Getting ready for your coverage. I rewatched Lord of the Rings Extended Editions, couple of weeks of entertainment. Thanks for everyone involved in your coverage. Oh yeah, it was a great effort and a thing that was created. It was just, as mentioned before, a nightmare to get everything in order. Um, but we got there. We got there indeed. Detonating thrown spears has a moderate luck chance to increase strength and stagger resistance. That's not that good. Of all the things it could do, you know? I think I should have re-rolled that. But thank you. Um, do -do. Something I love on multiple rewatches is the first few weeks of their journey, they are making bacon sausage and I'm sitting there like, RATION! Yeah, I think they, um, their attitude at that point is a lot more chill. Not quite understanding just how difficult this journey is going to be, that sort of thing. And how careful they need to be, because even in two towers they're still hooking up a wonderful bit of uh, Good. rabbit stew. Yeah, it does get a bit rough toward the end. Hmm. Now nah, we can avoid them for now. Wait, there's no door? Oh yeah, because we're going here. You don't seem to take advantage of shield prompts, the big yellow circles the enemies do. I love those. Is there a reason you don't make use of it? Uh, range. I'm just trying to stay away from everything all the time on this mode. If I'm getting involved to the point of blocking or parrying, I feel like I'm uh, taking way too much risk. The way I stay alive in this mode is by... Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, cool. Immediately. What is he doing? <laughs> Flippy flapping around. Where are you going, Kratos? What the fuck? If this just keeps him away from me. What is this bouncing shit, man? Yeah, cool. This fucker sucks, man. Ormond's Dunga. Oh. Game wasn't sure about that one. Yeah, cool. Goodbye, both resurrections. I'm sure I won't need them. At least he's dead now, so I don't have to, like, fight him. Well, I will have to fight him again at some point, but not for a little bit. You should have seen him with a 35.357 Magnum. Is that how big people say that? 357 or 357? It's gotta be 357, right? But I'm not sure who you're talking about. But yes, I agree. Yeah, this is a ranged fight, Linda, the hard way. Almost had it, and then it went horribly wrong. <laughs> you need to get over your fear and show your face another podcast is so awkward when you go to it without a face. No, it's not. I don't fucking care. Something you'll learn quickly about uh, us on EFAP is that we love taking advantage of the fact that we don't have to worry about the way everything looks on a camera. We can just chill and shoot the shit. I've never cared, and you ain't gonna convince me by being like, you're afraid. You sound like Chris Stuckman. 
Um, I did cam for a while, and I did a, a couple of times off, and I was like, you know what? I way prefer this. It's uh, it's more preferable. Maelstrom skill gauge is fully charged. That one's like okay. I'm just gonna save the space. More six five. I'm not even joking. Six four. But I think the last time I actually got my height done was was uh, six five, and I was like, wait, what the fuck? I don't remember the ability to grow in height past age like twenty five, but here we are. Part of what's cool about EFAP is you don't have to rely on any other aspect than our voices and arguments. And I mean, it's more of a podcast feel, I think, as well. It was the style at the time. And yeah, also, do you think um, Gundam is afraid? And Sitch is afraid? Because damn. I feel like they'd, uh, they'd take issue with that. <laughs> Not nearly long enough. Hey, buddy. Drastic increase stun. No. No, all of them are not good enough for the limitation. 541. Please tell me there's something decent to buy here. Come on, game. No. I don't like any of them. I guess we'll upgrade these. Ooh, do I have enough for the next upgrade? I do, sweet. Alright, that's something. Only uh, my cooldowns, I don't know if... Have I got anything for cooldown? Jesus, look at this set, this is horrible. I think I did pick up some of the cooldowns, didn't I? No? Jeez. Well, this is gonna go great. <laughs> There's nothing stopping me now. Lol, Mola, you are afraid, like Movie Bob in front of a salad bar. But for real, do you think you guys would ever try an EFAP with face cams? Maybe just once? Don't see the need. But I mean, it's not like it's impossible. I'm sorry, did you just spit on me? Oh, come on, mate. Another weapon, idiot. I know. I really need a. Uh... I mean, Atlas Eruption is pretty good. I, I need, I need more damage. I got nothing here. Incoming charge. All right, where are the gremlins? Seriously, where are the gremlins? Yeah, that's that's real cool. See, what the fuck? Blind behind you. Maybe a red one as well. There he is. <laughs> Killed by a gremlin. I told you that that run was just fucked. Not enough damage by the time we got there. And no cooldown. It was mainly just the range stuff, which is exactly what you need. You also need a little bit more. Which is probably a good place to end. So I've got a couple more to read. Just for y'all. Thank you very much. You know why they call it a cockroach, right? Didn't miss anything too important, did I? Why do they call it a cockroach? The Wimtongue actor played in a cowboy movie and he said, You should see what I can do with a 357 in Lord of the Rings behind the scenes. Also, it's a 357. Yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, Brad Dourif would be that actor. Dourif. Merry early Christmas tisms to you, long man. Enjoyed the Lord of the Rings video and can't wait for the War Arc. May 2024 be a good year for us all. Oh, it's on the way. Heading right for your doorstep. Um, an eagle ate a dragon. Xanderhal's gonna come. Oh, yeah. Any of those CG spectacle moments? That's what he's in it for. And then there was a super sticker. I appreciate it. 
Well, that's um, that's all the Moolah Super Chats from as far back as I believe I could get. Um, I'll probably have to do this every once in a while. To make sure we keep up. I guess we're a bit behind and we're running out of slots to be able to, you know, record. But by gum, are we trying. And it looks like this worked out. You know what's funny is I was planning on playing Bloodborne once I beat this, but we literally never did. I got close! If you remember, Tia killed me with a little fr throwing floomp. And I blame the fact that they would not fr refresh my relics. Bastard game. It was cruel. Cruel and unusual. But at least, you know, anybody who's curious knows how you can do it. I have beaten him twice with the limit and, uh, on the hardest difficulty, and both times it was with the, uh, the builds with the, the spinning whiplash. Because of course it was the whiplash. It is always the whiplash. Now, uh, I suppose that'll be goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll be back in three hours with an EVAP episode. One that I think you guys would have considered long-awaited. Well, that's going to be rather fun. But yes, have a good day until then. Or rather, have a good day and also have a good day then, too. Um, but for now, bye-bye. <laughs>